thank you for staying up, those of you who would normally be sleeping, and those of you who are busy doing night chores. I'm your brother, Majesty. And of course, I'm here with my studio engineer, whose name just happened to be Jacob, giving you the impeccable truth as it has always been told by the executive elders, the mystics among the Moors, with an insight to help us see clearly through seemingly closed windows, and the clarity to walk without a shadow of a doubt right through seemingly closed doors. My dear family, it is important to note that you're listening to none other than the Supreme Sound, the Big 94, Radio Jamaica, the only logical reason for broadcasting. Tonight we pray you'll enjoy our show, whether you are feasting or fasting, so call in. Get a personal insight that is, of course, enlightening. Develop your insight with and to our radio institution. Hey, expand your mind. Take a quantum leap in time. Our studio numbers tonight are 866 926 2178 866 926 Again, a Merry Christmas to you. Now, no any further ado, we'd like to really talk to you. So give us a call. Let's go to line one. Greetings and good night. Greetings. Good night. Greetings and good night. Good night. My yeah. Majesty. Good night. How you do? I am good. All right, how can we help? Remember, tonight you can get anything you need. Name reading, card reading, oracle, whatever you need. Need a card reading. Okay, let's do it. You get a reading before? No, sir. But let's do it. Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. 5. Come again? 7. Come again. Nine. Come again. Six. Come again. Three. Come again. One. Come again. Four. That's it. What happened to your father? Dead. What happened to him? Heart attack. Yeah. Let me ask you something. You cook for yourself? Sometimes. Do you find that you sometimes cook a bit too salt? Yeah. You like salt? No. But sometimes you make your food too salt, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, why do you think that happens? Why do you think it happens? Yes. Because we use too much salt. Listen. It is important that you stop doing that. Okay? Okay. The people who use too much salt, they usually end up with heart problems. All right? Yeah. Because salt hardens your arteries. Now, now, whatever it is that was the enemy of your daddy that took him out can take out his children too because that is the trend. That's what happens, okay? Yeah. Salt is the enemy. It's better if you practice cooking without salt. And when you do use salt, use it just a tiny amount. It is the enemy, okay? Okay. I'm not telling you what I believe. I'm telling you what the Spirit said to me and the Spirit can't be wrong, okay? Your first card here is called Speed. There's going to be speedy changes in your life for the better. So there's going to be a big change. Most likely, a good change. But you can speed it up by getting exercise, like walking. Can you walk? Yes. No problem with your legs, right? Hello? You don't have no problem with your legs? 
No. Every morning when you wake up, walk for at least 30 or 40 minutes, okay? Okay. And remember to meditate properly on the things that you need in your life, okay? Okay. You have another card you know called prosperity. That means that prosperity is coming. A lot of things that you thought you will never achieve, you'll get it. Millie, what is your age now? 53. Okay. What's your birth date? 24th of September, 69. Okay. And now, you're born in the year of the rooster, according to Eastern Astrology. Mm-hmm. According to African astrology, we call you Jabare. You're from the house of Jabare, okay? Yeah. Your pra- you know your prayer time? From 5 to 6. No. 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. That means you can pray at 6 o'clock, no problem. You can pray at quarter to 7, no problem. You can pray right after 5, no problem. But it is in that window between 5 and 7, okay? Yeah. And make sure that you face the west. In other words, face the setting sun and pray. Yeah. Practice that until you find that you could hardly go a day without doing it. When you reach that point where you just don't forget, it will pay you dividends. When it's a dividends, you will see the manifestation of God within you and a lot of things you thought that you could never get you'll just get okay okay your second card here now is called judgment it is likely that something is about to happen that if you don't exercise self-control you could end up having to go to court you know in other words someone is going to make an attempt to unseat you, to to steal your joy, to make you extremely upset and you're going to have to control yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. You have another card here now called Victory, suggesting that victory for you is in sight. Victory for you is in sight. So you're on a victory path, stay that way. Okay. Do you smoke? No. Do you drink? Once in a while. And when you do drink, what do you drink? Sorry, it'll be here. Okay. Why I said that is because it's a card that shows that you must keep an eye on habits, okay? Okay. Avoid any habit. So, if you have a habit of putting too much salt in your food, stop it. Okay? Okay, okay. There's some kind of habit that can lead to a problem that you can avoid. You're on a victory path. Stay on it, right? Okay. There's a card here called despair. Now, despair suggests there may be something going wrong with your eyes. How is your eyes? Good, you know. Yes. Still, go get your eyes tested, okay? You may be All su- right. You may be surprised. There's another card here now called change. So, change has something to do with the ancestors saying that you may need to change something. Maybe change the way you eat or change something. Something about you that needs to change. You have issues with uh, women? No. You get along well with them? Yes. You have one right now? Yeah, married. Good. Are you married, married and divorced. Okay, or you're divorced in the past. Yeah. But you have a new woman now? Yeah. Okay. What year was she born? 92. 1992? Yeah. What month? The 20th of July. Okay, July. July 20? Okay. Now, she, she's born the year of the monkey, okay? Yeah. And you born the year of the rooster. Now, there's going to be some tests in such a relationship because you're not astrologically compatible. All right? Yeah. So there are times when 
she will really get on your nerves and you're going to have to understand that it's only a test. All right? Okay. You would want her to always take you seriously, right? Yeah. But she's a monkey. So sometimes she will just joke around when you want to be serious. And that can cause you to say all the wrong things to her. And she will never forget the things that you said. And that will run you into a lot of trouble. All right? Okay. So don't let the devil win. Let no one steal your joy. Because the closest person to you normally will give you the most serious test in your life. Okay? Okay. And it's not her fault. You just have to remain alert, okay? Yeah. All right. Now, what is your concern right now? Health problem. Okay. What's bothering your health? Um, I take the prostate and then we said enlarge in a bit. All right. The good news is that most men have that problem, okay? All right? Yeah. If you walk down the road and see 300 men, 200 of them have enlarged prostate, okay? Yeah. That's the good news. The good news is that it's not, you don't have a horrible problem. Did they mention the word cancer to you? No, sir. Excellent. So then you don't have a horrible problem. You got like the usual issue, right? So it would be helpful for you to go to any herbal shop or any pharmacy and buy a herb called saw palmetto. Saw? You ever heard of saw palmetto? Yeah, um, I take one bottle of it already. Yeah, but one bottle of it would not you would not show any difference. Okay. You gotta really take it all the time. Okay. It takes a while. Just like it take a while for your prostate to become enlarged, it takes a while to send it back down again. Okay. In the meantime, you can also use another herb, which is corn silk. You know corn silk? Yeah. Corn silk is the hairy thing you see in corn when you take off the trash, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. You can get it free at the market. Look where the vendors throw down the trash and pick it up and take out the silk. Or you can go to a herbal shop and buy corn silk, right? Yeah. So you can make corn silk tea and take your um, uh, saw palmetto with it. If you go to a herbal shop and you can buy saw palmetto in herbal form so you can make tea with it, that's excellent. If you can't get it that way, you can buy it in capsule at the pharmacy, okay? Okay. All right. Um, it is important that you not let these things bother you because almost everybody that's around you have the same problem. It's just that they don't know and you know, right? Okay. So you know about yours, they don't know about theirs. Yeah. Now think about that. So you think you got a serious problem? Hey, you're just another bridging with the same problem, okay? Okay. So don't make it a big issue. However, do you eat aki? No. Okay, make sure you don't. If you eat aki now, you're looking for big trouble, okay? All right? Yeah. All right. Um, any other question? No, sir. Excellent. So you take care of yourself. And remember, it is a good thing when you know what's going on inside you and you can do something about it, right? Okay. There you go. Take care of yourself. You know what? You know You know your African tribe? Are you there? Yes, sir. Do you know your African tribe? I don't, don't remember, no. Okay. Now you're the 24th of September. 24th of September, you know your... Um, your birth sign are you Libra no. or Virgo Libra Libra okay so if you're a Libra your African tribe would be Wolof W-O-L-O-F-F -F. Wolof okay your lucky fruit is an apple yeah no don't ask what kind of apple any apple would do right yeah your birthstone is a sapphire, beautiful stone. Okay? Yeah. Your lucky day is Friday. And your lucky herb is aloe vera and tuna. Okay. Now, 
it will be helpful if at least once a week you blend some a leaf for aloe vera and a leaf for tuna and strain it and drink it. Okay. It will help you in more ways than seven, okay? Okay. At least once a week, like every Sabbath, right? But do yeah. all that at your time, at your prayer time. In other words, do it in the evening between five and seven, okay? Okay. Take care. Well, if want the card reading, though. Well, let me talk to her. Good night. Hello. Yes, good night. Good night. Yes, season's greetings to you, ma'am. You want to get a reading? What kind you need? Name reading or card reading? You want a card reading? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. Pardon me? Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. Just don't go over 10. But you can call any number more than once. It doesn't matter. Okay. Seven. Seven. Hold on. Come again. Seven. You want seven again or you want another number? Eight. You want eight. Hold on. Come again. Oh. Okay. Okay. Another number? Four. Come again. Nine. Come again. Two. Come again. Give me a number. Three. Okay, give me a final one now. One. Okay. All right. Now, the first card here is the card of death, right? Suggesting, that's a death card, suggesting that you may have to attend a funeral, okay? Okay. You know, somebody who you know well may pass away. It could be a dear friend, it could be a family member. It may be an old person whose time has come, right? Okay. It is not about you, you know, it's about you attending somebody's funeral, okay? Okay. And you have another card called the the tower. If the tower come up along with that card, it will suggest that it is possible that the person may have died suddenly, like by accident or so. All right. Thank you. It is important that you, you know, pray for guidance for the family. Okay. Okay. Uh, Do you pray? Yeah. All right. Um, your prayer time is um let's see your prayer time I did say you you're born in the year of the of the monkey right yeah okay you heard me say that yeah okay so let's look up your prayer time yeah your prayer time should be 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. though okay you ever you ever find yourself praying at that time like ever no. The reason why I ask that is because most people are conditioned to pray before they go to bed at night and when they wake up in the morning. Okay. But um, astrologically, I know differently. 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Yes, this is what we have here. 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. is your prayer time, okay? Yeah. Uh, your direction of power and faith will be west southwest. That means you need to face the west and turn an inch to the left. Okay. And you'll be facing your guardian angel, okay? Okay. Now in the east we call you we say you're born the year of the monkey. But in, in the African world we say you are from the house of Ibrahim. I B R A H I M. Pronounce Ibrahim, okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, you have a card here that says the lovers, suggesting that the one you love really love you. You get that feeling? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And 
even though I say you're not astrologically compatible, the cards say that you are a good match still, okay? Okay. So spiritually, you have, a, you have something in common. There's a card here now that is called energy. You find that you work hard? Pardon me? Do you find that you work very hard? Yeah. Uh, how many days you work in the week? Uh, four, maybe three. Okay, that's not bad. You have another card here that is the queen of nurture, suggesting that you are a motherly, nurturing woman. In other words, you are a blessing to your husband and any children around, okay? Yeah. You have another card here, and it's the king of inspiration, which means that your husband is a good source of inspiration in your life. And finally, you have a card called the Emperor. Were you close to your father? Yeah. Very close? Yeah. You have his blessings, okay? Okay. Where's your daddy now? Pardon me? Where's your father now? Mama, in the, um... Okay, well, you have his blessings, and by extension, you have God's richest blessings, okay? Okay, thank so you. So, what's, what's bothering you most now? Like? What bothers you? What are you worry about? Nothing. Uh, so, you're happy? Yeah. That's sweet, man. That real nice. Yeah. Well, you want to know your... Let's talk about your, your tribe, your African tribe. Okay. You're born July uh, 20? Yeah. Okay. So, July 20, that means that you are Cancerian, right? Okay. According to Western astrology. So, who's Cancer? Cancer, Fulani, F-U-L-A-N-I, Fulani. That's your tribe. Your lucky fruit is papaya. You eat papas? No. You don't like them? No. Why? I used to love it, but... Don't like it again. Well, it would be good if you can blend it and drink it. Okay. You make sure that you use it. You get any stomach problems anytime? Yeah. Well, Papa will solve that problem for you. Okay. They have excellent digestive enzymes. So, you know... You really should think seriously about blending some papa and drink them. Drink it, okay? Okay. Yeah. Um, your um, precious stone, your birthstone is called a pearl. Pearl. A pearl is a precious stone that is made in the shell of the oyster, right? Okay. Your lucky day is Monday. And your lucky herb is called ginkgo or ginkgo biloba. Go to any pharmacy and ask for ginkgo. G-I-N-K-G-O. Ginkgo. All right? Oh, okay. It gives you excellent mental focus. It's one of the few herbs that send oxygen to your brain. It is wonderful. Do you get any headaches? Sometimes. But they're not very bad? No. Oh. Ginkgo would help you. It will stop the headaches from getting any worse, okay? Okay. And it's good for anyone who wants to study. Okay. And finally, do you have any big veins on your feet? Big, big what? Any large veins on your feet? No. Good. Once you don't have any major veins on your feet, you can okay. use any amount of ginkgo any time of the day or night, okay? Okay. It will help you. Okay. You take care now. Oh, thank you. Thank Bless you. Me. Take it easy. Okay. On the upper deck, I'm your host, Majesty, with Jacob here at the Musical Control. Let's return to our phone lines without any further ado. Greetings and good night. Good night, Majesty. Good night. How you do? Not too bad, sir. Excellent. Not, How can I help you? I, um, I would like a card reading. Okay. You did it before? About two years ago. Well, let's do it. Call any number in the range of one to ten. Ten. Hold on. Come again. Six. 
Come again. Four. Come again. Eight. Come again. Um, two. Come again. Seven. Hold on. Come again. Five. That's it. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. What's your age now? Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. You know, very few men would live to your age. You know that, right? Yeah. So in the in the world of living, you are a superstar. Okay. Whether you are recognized or not is beside the point. Okay. Okay. Because most men don't reach them them age there. That's true. I will give the father thanks. Yes, man. And see while you're at it. Let me ask you something. You ever give the mother thanks yet? The both of them. The both of them. So you thank Mother yeah. Nature? Yeah. Yes, man. Because without Mother Nature, we couldn't be here. Exactly. Because we feed from the milk of her breast, right? Right. Then we eat fruits and all that. Mm. So your first card here now. It's a daughter. You have any daughters? I have four da beautiful daughters. Wow. And five uh, beautiful daughters. Five beautiful daughters. Yeah. Well, this is the princess of, of, of evolution, which means that your daughter or daughters will be there for you, okay? Right now, they're, they're here for me, oh. right now. Oh, my gosh. You have another card you know called the moon. No... Let's remember your mother. Were you close to her? Very, very close. But uh -huh. I lose her about eight years ago now. All right, all right listen, you, you haven't lost your mother. She passed away. She, mm -hmm. She's gone to be with the ancestors, right? Okay. But that don't mean that you lose her, you know? Mm -hmm, that's right. Your mother was a wonderful human being, right? Yeah. She is alive and well. It's just that she's on the other side. Okay. She expired on this side, but she's on the, dying is like going to America, where you uh, you leave people crying at the airport in Jamaica, right? Yeah. But you see, when you reach the other side, oh my gosh, my God, people on this that you long to see them. Of course, of course, she be she be longing to see her mother, or longing to meet with her father again, right? Yeah. And she will be embraced by them. So why we here bawling? She over there laughing because she would be matured spiritually enough to know that it was her time to go, right? Yeah. And communicating and 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 and, and, and flexing with those people over there. Nobody dies. That's an illusion. Okay. Okay. Yes. So your mother's alive and well on the other side. Because there's a card here that is called the moon, suggesting that um, if the moon comes as your second card, it means that your mother may be saddened only by your sadness. She's sad only because you are. Okay? Okay. But now she sees the world through your eyes. She sees those beautiful grandchildren of yours through your eyes. In the eyes is the window to the soul, right? Okay. So the, the body is the temple of the living God, but at the same very time, it the, the ancestors see our youngsters, our grandchildren, and our children through our eyes. So she don't have a physical body to manifest, but she's there still in spirit, okay? Okay. You have another card here now called Enterprise. You ever had a business? No, no, no. Uh -huh. You ever wanted a business? That I wanted more than anything now because I cannot work now. So a little business would do me well. Yeah, but if you get a business, that will be work. Mm -hmm. Let me explain mm -hmm. something. You see when you reach a certain age? Yeah. It is nice when you don't have to bother about business no work, you know. It's just that that's why that's why they call it the retirement time. Okay. 
In other words, having a business right now can be more bad than good. Mm. In your life right now. Okay? Okay. You have to, it is important that at this point in your life you full joy yourself the way things are. Your children will make sure that you don't starve, right? That's right. Good. So then, so send your then your children are your business. You were in the business of making children when you were making children, right? Okay. Now they're in the business of taking care of daddy and grandpa. You get it now? Yeah, yeah. So don't worry about business, because this card here called enterprise, which means that your family will be very enterprising, and therefore whatever you need will come. It will be provided through the line of your family, okay? Okay. You get it now? Yeah, yeah. That is why you don't have a business. Because basically you're not really supposed to at this point. You have another card here now, and it's called the Hermit. The Hermit is the one who have come to a ripe age, right? Yeah. And who really need to focus only on wisdom at this point. Focus on teaching the grandchildren the way. All right? Yeah. When I was a little youth man, my grandmother used to teach me the way. In other words, she used to teach me how to think, in what pattern I should think, and in what pattern I should not think. Thinking is is a pattern. Some people, most people tend to think in a destructive pattern. That is why they destroy their prospects for the future by imagining destructive things. Because the pattern of thinking is not right. Okay? Okay. So now, it is important that you teach your children, teach your grandchildren the importance of being more forgiving, the importance of being more understanding, the importance of um, accepting reality. You get it? Yeah, yeah. Good. If you don't accept reality at your age and stage, you'll destroy yourself because then you will overwork a brain that's not supposed to be pushing it hard at this point. Then you hurt yourself, right? Okay. In the meantime, if you want to make sure that your brain keeps healthy, use a lot of olive oil in your foods. If you find that you have to use ordinary cooking oils, buy olive oil and take two to three spoonfuls every day. Can you do that? I'll try to. In that way, you will not get Alzheimer's, you will not get dementia. Olive oil cleans the fog, fogginess off your brain. Olive oil stops you from having an old brain. We will forget, forget everything. It stops that from happening, okay? Okay. Especially virgin olive oil and virgin coconut oil. What them call boil oil. Okay? Okay. You have another card here, so no. And it seems that there is a certain granddaughter. How many granddaughters you have? Uh, two, about five. Good. But there's one in particular that's going to be, uh, she may appear to be a bit unmanageable. Right? Yeah. She's a little fighter, right? <laughs> yeah. But she's the most powerful human being in your bloodline. In other words, she's going to prove one day that she is really a conqueror. All right? Yeah, yeah. So, uh. it is important to know how to encourage her. Encourage her to control her temper, but encourage her to remain strong. There's another card here now called Judgment. Judgment in this particular position. How many sons do you have? Two. All right. Do you have a son that don't say much to you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was living with him. He run me out of town. <laughs> where, where, is him, where is him do? 
Huh? MTSU? Run me out of his house. Uh, <laughs> why, why he did that? I said, no, I, I don't know what I know about this. The reason why he run you out of his house, right? Mm. Is because he want to do certain things that you will not approve. <laughs> so he can do certain things and have you watching that. Okay? Yeah. Now, it is not that him don't like you, you know. <laughs> it's that you make him feel very guilty because of the things he were him going on with. That's a fact. Right? Now, he is fooling himself. Okay? Yeah. He's like a turkey that I had when I was a youngster, you know. And my mother sent me to grab the turkey because she wanted to murder the turkey <coughs> to, to eat for the holidays. Mm. And I run the turkey around the house, running around the house, and the turkey moving like, like grease lightning, right? But at one point, the turkey got tired. Yeah. Just as I was about to fall down with tiredness, he got tired too. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that turkey do? That turkey hide his head under a breadfruit leaf. <clears throat> I've been talking about a big turkey, you know. The yeah. whole end backside exposed, you know, Bridget. So I walk up to him and I tap him on the back. I say, hey, Bridget, do you know turkeys keep a noise? They hobble, gobble, gobble. Yeah, yeah. So I tap him and he gave a tiny little hubba gobble gobble. Right? Yeah. Like, shh. Right? Mm. I said, but Bridget, you hold your backside exposed. He believed because he can't see me, I'm not supposed to see him. That's right. So your son is like that, right? Yeah. He think that once you're not there to make him miserable, he can carry on with a whole heap of sin thing in the place, right? <laughs> You understand? Yeah, yeah. But hear me now. One day he will realize his mistake, you know. I know that. Yeah. And you know what? Know. He's beginning to realize it already. <laughs> it's just that I'm too shame to come forward. I know that, Majesty. Yeah. I know that. All right. So he, we call them turkey-minded people. Mm. Do you know why I stopped eating turkey from that age? And I was little, no. you know. Because if I why would I eat something that don't have no damn sense? My my daddy always said me you are what you eat. Right? Mm. So if a fowl have such a tiny brain and a fowl got more sense in the turkey, then why would I eat a turkey? <laughs> sure. So now you have a last guy here now called the tower. You used to drive any time? Yeah, that was my living. But you give it up now, right? Yeah. Don't go back to it. Okay. All right? Okay. You know your eyes not like before, right? Right, right. You can't drive like that no more, especially night driving. You that's would just, you would create a big problem, man. That's true, Majesty. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So according to your cards, your body is declining slowly. So yeah. now you have to take it easy. Where you live now? Who you live with now? I live by myself near my daughter. I live one of my daughter. All right. And you are a happier man since you moved from with your oh, son, right? Oh, God. I feel like I've been living. Which means day. that your son did the right thing, right? Every day I praise him for that. Yeah. Him, it, 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 it's, it's hard to, con to, to, to comprehend this, but he actually did the right thing, you know. I know that. He uh, needed to get rid of you for your own good and for his own fun, right? Yes, but I see every day. Yeah. I said that. So. And I thank the Lord to remove me from there. Yes, but when you see him again, give him some love, all right? I plan to call him. Yes, my about, about two months now, uh, going three months now, and him don't speak to me, I don't speak to me. I plan to call him in the new year. Well, well, make sure that you do because it would be very, very, very hard on him if you had to leave Earth without you and him reconnecting, you know? No, my grandfather. It, call would, him it would destroy him, you know? I'm going to call him. It would, it would mush him up, you know? Mm -hmm. Trust me, he ain't going to deal with it. 
When you go funeral and see some people behave bad and one jump in the grave and stuff, you know why? No. Yeah. Guilt. Don't feel guilty. Right? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> don't feel guilty because they never took time off to say to the elder, I love you. Mm. Them love you, but them don't really know how much them love you till you disappear. Then them really feel that. Yeah. So hear me no man. You are in a prime position. You've now, you now become an executive elder. Holy for love here. Thank you, my dear. Yeah. You'll be just fine. Basically, as I see here, you can even go on to live to 100. But <coughs> you know how that go, right? Yeah, you gotta yeah. take care of yourself. You need to drink more water, do you know? Yeah, yeah I drink water because I'll proceed problem and I have to take drink water. Right. And make sure you don't eat no aki, right? Okay. You eat aki? And to be honest with you, uh -huh. I eat some this evening. No, no, no. Avoid eating aki. Okay. Aki will create a big problem, you know. Okay. I can assure you that too many Jamaica Jamaica full of men that get prostate cancer mm. like thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of Jamaican men get prostate cancer because of Aki okay you don't have no no man in no other Caribbean country eating Aki you know Aki is mm -hmm. a Jamaican thing okay. all right okay and the other man them not dropping dead from prostate cancer like that mm -hmm. so scientists conclude that it is the Aki that mash not be Jamaican male. So please, at your stage right now, leave Aki alone. Okay. Let you stay hungry more to eat Aki right now. It is not your friend. Okay. Okay? Okay. You're a doctor's medication? Yeah. All right. Take care of yourself. Even though you're on a doctor's medication, you can still use corn silk because corn is a food, right? I know that. Do you know what corn silk is, right? Yeah. Do you hear everything yeah. in the corn? Drink corn silk tea as often as you can so that you will not get stoppage of water and them foolishness there, okay? Okay. Take care of yourself, my brethren. Thank you and very don't, much. Yeah. Don't fear to tell your son that you love him, okay? No, man. I plan to, plan to call him in the new year, man. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You take it easy now. Thank you, sir. And thank you for trusting me to give you a reading, right? God, God bless you. Yeah, because no, it take a lot to... Tr yeah, listen, when a person call for reading, it's trust them, trust the reader, you know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Seriously. It's, it's, it can be a scary thing, you know. I know that. Because I listen to you all the way, like, you listen to you from, you used to do the two show that night. Oh, that, was, do, that, wow, that was a long time ago, man. Long, long, long time. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, listen right through. So, okay, so you're, you're, you're my brethren from where, from all the way over there, right? Yeah, yeah, man. I'm more than 20 years ago, you know? I know that. Wow. My brethren, so, you so take it easy, yeah? Take care of yourself, too, my dear. Blessed. And season's greetings to you, all right? To you and your family, too, sir. Aye, aye. Blessed. Uh, before I go further, um... Let's bear in mind that there's a lot of people right now suffering from hardening of the arteries due to too much salt. Some people eat too much salt fish too often, you know. Some people eat a lot of red herring. Some people eat a lot of salt mackerel. Some people just put too much salt in their food, right? Now, if, you, if you're suffering from hardening of the arteries, you're in trouble. You get something called arteros arteriosclerosis there's a herbal combination that you can buy online called garlicin hc that's garlicin g-a-r-l-i-c-i-n garlicin hc now the physiologic action of this particular formula is great because it is a combination of herbs which supports the cardiovascular system that's the whole heart and blood system right it helps to strengthen the heart while building and cleansing the arteries and veins right now give me give me some specifics now recent animal studies suggest that vitamin c deficiency could be involved in the 
causation of arteriosclerosis, right? Essential fatty acids play a fundamental role in keeping cell membranes fluid and flexible. But the single herbs, you know, involved in this particular concoction are, and you can buy these herbs if you don't get that particular uh, herbal formula, cayenne, which is cayenne pepper. You can buy, you know, cayenne powder, any herbal shop or any supermarket. You can buy cayenne. Comfrey, evening primrose oil, fish oil like cod liver oil, etc. Garlic, golden seal, and rose hips. Also, vitamin B complex, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Also, niacin, inositol, and Choline, C H O L I N E. The minerals you also need is calcium and magnesium. Also, fish oils and cold press. You can buy cold press uh, vegetable oil, like cold press coconut oil. You know, you can buy. Uh, virgin coconut oil in the supermarket which is cold pressed when you smell it you smell the living coconut right um my reference is the there's you can buy there's a book called evening primrose oil by j graham that's evening primrose oil by j graham or you can buy a book called fats and oils by you erasmus that's you E-R-A-S-M-U-S Fats and Oils by written by you Erasmus or Evening Primrose Oil by J. Graham. Okay? This is Wisdom Unveiling. <clears throat> Let's return to our phone lines. Ouch. Greetings and good night. Good night. <coughs> good night. How you do? I'm good. Okay. How can we help you? Can I have a card reading? Please? Of course you can. You ever get a card reading yet? Ever? No. <coughs> can I go and turn on the radio and call? You want to do what? Turn down the radio. Of course you can turn down the radio. That's like normal. <coughs> it's now five minutes after one o'clock in Jamaica. This is Radio Jamaica. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Call any number in a range of 1 to 10. 5. Come again. 2. Come again. 8. Come again. 4. Come again. Come again. Nine. Come again. Three. That's it, okay? Yes. Uh huh. Um, <clears throat> when is your birthday? February 23rd, 2000. 2000? Yes. Okay. Um, in the Eastern astrology, like Chinese astrology, you're born the year of the dragon, okay? Okay. Um, in Western astrology, you are Pisces? Yes, yeah. So, <clears throat> in the Bible, in Biblical astrology, we say you're from the tribe of Benjamin. Jacob had 12 sons, and you're the last little one. The little okay. brother called Benjamin, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. In, um... African astrology, we call you Zulu, the tribe of Zulu, okay? Yes. All right. Let me make that clear. Um, that if you're Zulu, your lucky fruit is guava. You, you don't like guavas, no? Not really. I know. Because too much CDC, too much like seeds, okay. right? Yes. Well, you need to stop underestimating the power of a guava, all right? Okay. Yeah. 
if you really know how good guava is for you, you would eat even the skin. Because that's your fruit, okay? Yes. You know your birthstone? No. It is called an amethyst. A-M-E-T-H-Y-S-T. Amethyst. It's a wonderful stone. Right? Yes. Now, all these precious stones, black people have to go down under the earth and dig out. While well, European people and Indian people and Arabs and all kind of people have these stones wearing upon their finger, right? Yeah. And when you look around you, you don't see none of your family wearing these stones on their finger. So we're missing the point. Right? Yeah. Amethyst is indeed a um, powerful stone. Um, it's a stone. You get any headaches? I, I'm having one right uh -huh. now. The amethyst actually relieve headaches. So if you had your amethyst ring, you could just put it on your finger, your headache gone, you know? Okay. It relieves headaches. It's good to stimulate your creativity and inspirations. A great help if there's a lack of intuitive awareness. So if you find that you feel stagnant and you can't come up with no, no ideas to make some money, just put on your amethyst ring, man. Right? Yeah. That's your birthstone, okay? So these things have, they have their value, right? Anyway, your lucky day is Thursday. Do you know that? No, I didn't. There you have it. It is Thursday. So, if you're going to the embassy to get a visa and they and say, come on Thursday the 4th. Hey, run, go, right? Yes. Because you're most likely to get it because your lucky day is Thursday, right? Okay. You want to go, you know, beg or borrow some money from somebody, go hit them on Thursday, man. All right? Yeah. And your, um, your lucky herb is chamomile. Oh, my mommy has some. Chamomile? Yeah. But there's another herb that goes with it. It's called fever few. Not fever grass, you know. If okay. you mix chamomile and fever few, an equal amount of the two, it take away stress immediately, and if you got migraine headache, it mash it up. I mean, block it, stop it, done it immediately. Chamomile okay. and fever few. These things you need to know, okay? Yes. Yeah. All right, but let's get to your reading now before your phone card run out. Your first card right here is called despair. Now, despair as a first card is not good news, all right? People yeah. have bad eyes in your family? Yes. Yeah. Anybody went blind? A lot of them, my grandfather, my grand uncle. There, yeah, and they have um, 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 a lot of people have cataract and a lot of people have yes, glaucoma, yes, right? Yes. All right. Now, this card, despair, shows that you need to get your eyes tested and you need to take proper care of your eyes. You, you don't really like carrots, right? No. Uh -huh. You find that you you get carrots in your soup, you just bother, don't bother with them, right? Yes. Uh -huh. You know, but that's what will heal you. That's what will help you at your stage now. Okay. Yeah, you, I mean, you would drink carrot juice if you yes, if somebody squeeze a little lime in it, right? Yes. Yeah, so make carrot juice. Drink a gl glass of carrot juice every day. You can even blend the carrot with beetroot and drink at least one one glass every day, okay? Okay. Save yourself, sister. Save yourself. All right? Yeah. Okay. Your second card here now is the king of conception. Where is your father? He's in town, Texas. When last you talked to him? October. It's all the way in October, right? Yeah. And he's right here in Jamaica, right? Yeah. So, you don't really rate him too highly? No. Because he was not there for you when you need him most? No. Huh? That's true. Okay. Let me tell you something. You need to stop judge your old man, you know? Okay? Okay. Now, there's one powerful reason why he was not there for you, okay? Yeah. That was part of your test. In other words, your every day of your life is a test. You're in a school. Life is a school. And you can't tell the teacher what to test, what test to give you, you know. Okay? Yeah. Now, it seems logical that you 
when you was his daddy, you never look out for him. So now he become your daddy and he was not slated to look out for you because you have to pay your debt of karma. In other words, okay. whatever you did or failed to do in your past lifetime will be done or not done to you in this lifetime, okay? Yes. So you need to forgive your old man. A lot of people got worse fathers than yours, right? Yes. You get it? Yes. Some people have father will, will, will rape them, you know? That's some people true. have father will do them some wicked things, you know? I don't think your daddy did you nothing like that, right? Oh. Forgive your daddy. And one more thing. How old you are this year? I'm 22. Yeah. You have a boyfriend? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, your boyfriend know his daddy? Yes, he does. He gets along well with his daddy? Yes. All right. It's only fear that you get along well with yours too, right? Yes. A girl almost always, like 99.99% always, choose a man that stay like her father. Unfortunately for you, you don't really know your father so well, right? Yeah, that's true. But whoever your boyfriend is, and still like your daddy, and you don't know. So you need to get to know your daddy. Yeah. When you, when you have your father's blessings, it will help you to get along with men in general much better. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Did you cuss your boyfriend recently? No. Huh? No. How long you and your boyfriend been together? Almost two years. Okay, and that sounds like a long time, right? Yes. But you don't begin to know nobody in two years? No. You begin to know the person in three years? Yes. So, you don't really get the real test yet. When is your boyfriend's birthday? September 20, 1975. 1975, right? Yes. Okay. So, so... You born the February 23rd, you said? Yes. And he's September 20, right? Yes. If you add those figures, what do you get? You get 43. 23 yes. and 20 is 43. Do you know what 43 mean? No. It means failure of plans. That your pl together your plans may fail. Unless victory is won to strong effort and positive action. It is a number okay. connected to the military, everything in continual movement, right? Okay. What I'm saying is, I said all that to say one thing, that unless you learn to let go and learn to forgive, it is likely that most of your plans with this particular boy will just fail. Okay. Okay? Yeah. One more thing. You have a card called the King of Conceptions, suggesting that someday you're going to get married. For sure, okay? Yes. All right. You ever get really angry with your boyfriend? Yes. Why you got angry with him? Perfect. Why did you get angry with him? Oh, no, he cheated. He cheated? Yes. Oh. And is it true that you also cheated? Yes. Okay, so who cheat first? He did. So you cheat in revenge because he cheat? Yes. Why you think you did that? I don't know. You don't know because you lack wisdom. Okay? Yes. Now listen carefully. In the Bible, when a woman cheat, you know what they do with her? No. They stone her to death, ma'am. But they don't they don't stone the man that she cheated with. Him cool. Right? Yes. Now you ought not to be doing what he did. You can just cheat with somebody for revenge like that. That is one very real form of evil. That is something that block you from becoming wife material. Don't do that again. Yes. Okay? Yes. You're a woman, you're not a man. One more thing. Your boyfriend is a your boyfriend is a black man? 
Yes, he is. All right. Listen carefully. That means that your boyfriend is an African like you, right? Yes. Good. In the African world, it is very normal for a man to have many wives, okay? Yes. That's normal. So, if you even read your holy Bible, as holy as it is, you can't find a man in there with one woman, right? With one wife. Yes. So, so a man having more than one female is normal. It's not as cheating as you think it is. Okay. The problem don't come from the, him having other woman. That's not the problem. The problem come from him telling lies about it. Okay. And why he tell lies? Because him don't want you feelings to be hurt, right? Yes. Okay? And then what you do? You go and do exactly the opposite of what you should have done. So, make sure that you're not any other kind of word but a proper woman. Yes. And no proper woman does stuff like that. You must be trusted even when your man fail his test. Make sure you pass yours. Okay. Can somebody get your man pregnant? No. Oh, ho. But there you have it, right? Okay? Yes. Good. Remember, remember my words, okay? Okay. Stand up as a proper woman. Don't cheat because the man cheated. That is yes. very close to madness. And it is evil, okay? Okay. Because technically the man don't cheat. He's an African. Okay. Wherever black people live, there's at least three women to a man. Okay. Now, I'm not condoning men having many women, but I'm saying it's not as evil as it sounds. Yes. Because we're not Europeans, we're Africans, that's what we are. So if the laws of Jamaica change where a man could, could marry to many wives, you'd be shocked to know the amount of men who will start getting married wrong here. Right? Yes. All right. And there will come a day when that law will be changed because the Bible says in the last days, seven women will cling to one man to take away their loneliness, which means a man will be allowed to get married to seven women everywhere in the world and it's not going to be a problem. Yes. Listen, right now, all kind of strange men getting married. You notice that? Mm -hmm. And all kind of weird women getting married, right? Yes. So it wouldn't be long before men allowed to get married to many wives. Because if the man them get strange and don't want no woman, and go marry to other men, then them leave a backlog of women who don't have husbands, right? Yes. Sooner than later, you know, they're going to have to allow a man to get married to three or four wives same day by the same priest at the same church. Like in Africa. Okay. So hear me now. Behave yourself. Think okay. like a queen. Don't think like a girl. Think like a queen. Behave like one. Okay. Do I make myself clear? Okay. Good. So now you have a card here now. And it is called beauty. This is saying that you are one beautiful girl. Is that true? Yes. Oh my gosh, man. And someday you're going to have a daughter. Have you ever I have, had? I have two. You got two daughters? Yes. Oh my gosh. Wow. And they are quite beautiful, right? Yes, they are. Okay. Okay. You have another card here now. Don't get me wrong, your daughters will do it, but there's a son here too. Oh. So you're going to get a son? Okay. And at least one daughter and at least one son are going to be quite brilliant. You have another card here now, and it's called Joy. Which means that you'll have at least three children who will make you very happy, right? Yeah. And you have another card here now, and it's called the Hermit, suggesting that you need to put all your focus in becoming wise. Okay. Not becoming rich, you know, listen. Once wise. you become wise, riches will come. Seek ye first wisdom. And everything will be added unto you. Okay? Yeah. All right. Finally, you have a card called skill. Well, you doing any skill? You like cosmetology? Yes, I do. You do cosmetology? I don't do it, but I, I, I like it. Well, what I pick up here is that you you need to, to, to learn cosmetology, which is one of the things that you were born to do. 
Okay. You can do other things too, but but um because you can do um um administration as well, but cosmetology will suit you fine. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Find someone who's willing to teach you or go to any school and do classes, right? Okay, yeah. Uh and you will step up and you'll have your own uh, your own business and do well. Okay. And treat man in general with more respect. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Hold on. Did you call a girl and cuss her because she went with your man? No. Huh? No. Okay. Don't do that, okay? Okay. Only mad people do those things there. Yeah. So, any questions? No. Good. You take care of yourself and remember you are a child of God. Behave that way. Yes. You're a queen. Don't behave like a B-I-T-C-H. You're okay. a queen. Keep it that way, okay? Yes. Take care of yourself now. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. It is important to remember that we are now in the festive season celebrating Christmas. Whether or not you believe in Christmas or not is beside the point. Full joy yourself. Those who like this do this, those who like that do that, and some people stay home. But you know, in ancient times, you know, uh, before there were this thing called a tell lie vision, you know, elders would tell stories. Yeah, the children of the village will just sit there and the elders who would tell stories. And the stories used to be awesome. I mean, it's awesome. Imagine elders telling stories in Zimbabwe. Elders telling stories in Ethiopia. Elders telling stories in Ghana. Elders telling stories in uh, Ivory Coast. Nigeria? Oh my gosh, man. And, and that's the way we were. For centuries and centuries, elders had their worth because they would create these stories that had so much teachings for youngsters. Well, now I suppose a lot of that culture would, you know, wouldn't exist much more because they have, you know, tell a vision. Anyway, some people know me as a mystic, but uh, there's some who know me as a storyteller. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel and check the channel carefully and just scroll and scroll to it, you see I do write some amazing stories. Over the, the night happened to be we celebrating the Christmas holidays and um, I just feel to, to read your story. Let's see the hands of all those who want me to read a story. Let's count the hands. What is? 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, whoo. Nearly a million hands gone up in the air already, you know. People want to hear a story. So here it goes. This story is called, listen carefully, it's called Of Life and Death in Sci-Fi. Now, for those of you who enjoy my stories, I have an interesting one for you at this time. Indeed, many of you have heard it before. But this story is somewhat different to all my other writings. Indeed, it is my favorite story. Though I have written so very many. As a matter of fact, it is my first science fiction story. It was inspired by a truly sad occasion, the funeral of a special brethren who lived in Spanish Town, whose mother is one of my dearest friends. I must add too that this is the second funeral I have ever attended, for as a matter of fact, I don't go to funerals. I tend to mourn the passing of acquaintances from a safe distance. But I had to be there for Alan. He was a great young man, full of promise, love, and integrity. He had been an only child, 
who, though he had a girlfriend, never got around to making a baby. He was always putting it off, telling me he was not ready to have children yet. I remember teasing him about not giving his mother a well-needed grandchild, and he would just smile and say, whatever will be, will be. Yes, Alan Ray Fine was a fine young man, a model son, a brilliant human being, a wonderful spirit. And so, sitting in the crowded church at his funeral, with tears in my eyes, I got the feeling to write Alan a story. One that would help comfort those who loved him. One that would keep his memorial intact. Some of you will find this story a bit off the wall. However, you didn't know Alan, so I forgive your many critical remarks. Some of you will no doubt find this story ridiculous. Stupid, weird, unreal, the figment of a silly imagination. All that is allowed, for it is a blend of reality and science fiction. Yeah, this story in question may be called senseless, different. It is a story about a good man, a funeral, a spacecraft, distant galaxies, weird planets, unusual sexual vitality. This story will make you wonder what had gotten into me to write such a ridiculously fascinating narrative. This story may tempt you to turn off your radio and stop listening to the rubbish you hear in this story. Yet, you will be curious to hear what will be said next in this story. This story was read under a tree, on top of a bridge, in a schoolyard, in tree restaurants, in the hot boiling sun, in a shower of rain, in my mother's house in Barbados. Hey, hey, this story was typed by my secretary at my office in Ocherias, Jamaica. This story was read to my children, to my neighbor's children, to a group of old people, to a set of half-drunk fishermen one Sunday morning on a beautiful Negril beach. This story was read while serving ice cream at a party among playful children. This story was read while cooking my Sunday dinner while driving my car on a bumpy village road full of potholes in St. Mary. This story was ridiculed by my secretary, stolen and copied by one of my untrustworthy friends. This story was actually read on Radio Jamaica many times, and some people loved it. Some never understood it. This story is wanted by the police. A certain superintendent who keep asking me when next I am going to read it on the radio. And so I am tempted to read it again for your listening pleasure. This story may be read at one o'clock, yet you'll be remembering this story at three o'clock, at five o'clock, two days from now, a week from now, hey, a month from now. Still, I don't know what all the fuss is about, for this story may never be found among great literary works never be published in children's school textbooks. It certainly wouldn't be compared to any hymn in a church prayer book. It probably wouldn't even be found in an old man's scrapbook or in an old lady's pocketbook. No one may even care to ask me how much time it took for me to write this story or what kind of look Alan's mother, Juliet Dunbar, had on her face when I visited her and read to her this story. Still, I can tell you it is worth the bother. For my friend Juliet loved this story. And she knew her son, Alan, would have enjoyed this story. So now, without further procrastination, I would like to pay tribute to my sister, Juliet Dunbar, Alan Ray Fine's mother over there in Spanish Town, Jamaica. And now, brothers and sisters, hear the prologue. Here goes. Alan Ray Fine could not believe his, 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 his eyes. He was attending 
his own funeral. Hearing what his relatives, co-workers and friends were saying about him. Then watching his dear mother grief stricken as she finally collapsed into the arms of Titus, his best friend. <laughs> Titus himself was trying to be strong, fighting back the tears. But the grief of Alan's untimely passing was unbearable. It was getting to him fast. Bertram Sully was there too. He was a next door neighbor who knew Alan very well. They often played dominoes together, sometimes for hours and hours on end. They both joined the Jamaica Fire Brigade the same day and were both moving swiftly up the ranks. Given a special funeral with military honors, Alan was moved to tears of appreciation. The words of the fire chief impressed Alan as well. He had no idea the chief was so impressed with his daily performance. Now, Arlene was on stage. She sang Alan's favorite song with a trembling but beautiful voice. She was in tears. She read an impressive account of Alan's achievements, which accompanied a slideshow of photographs in the background on a large TV screen. Pictures of, of Alan taken since childhood up until a few days before his tragic accident. Arlene is Alan's first cousin. She adored Alan. The good pastor Batson finally preached a very touching sermon. Alan's girlfriend sat next to Juliet, Alan's mother. She wept constantly. Sandra wanted to give Alan a baby with all her heart. Alan was his mother's only child. He never knew his father. Alan wanted a child too, but he thought that Sandra should finish her medical degree first. Now it is too late. Alan is gone. Gone too soon. And the pain is simply unbearable. Why did Alan have to die so young? Hmm? Why did he leave for work half hour earlier that fateful day? And why was two idiotic bus drivers racing so early in the morning on a wet, slippery road in a Kingston city? Why was Alan the wrong place at the wrong time to get run over by a bus? Everyone was asking why, why, why? For everyone had a question of his own. Meanwhile, Alan was receiving answers. He was getting them fast. A voice was speaking to him, a voice he quickly recognized. Alan was looking down on us all. He was smiling broadly. He was about to board an invisible spacecraft called Zion. She is a galactic wonder. She is an unidentified flying object of absolute magnificence, a craft totally invisible to the human eye and inaudible, silent to the human ear. A machine four miles long and three miles wide. Alan's Earth programming was now being peeled off by the spacecraft's automatic deprogrammer and Alan was suddenly reminded of his true nature, his true purpose in life. Now his true identity has returned to him. He suddenly remembered that he is the Crown Prince Zargoth the second in command on the planet Tarshish with a population of 250 billion people 150 light years away from planet Earth with a most unusual atmosphere where the elements of wood, fire and water does not actually exist. These elements are actually imported from Azula, an Earth-like planet seven times the size of planet Earth with three moons and two suns where half the inhabitants, both people, animals and plants are male for the first half of every year and female for the second half of the year. The Azulan year consists of 36 Earth months. Alan, now conscious that he is the great Prince Zargoth, wish that Earth was closer to home. He would have liked to monitor Sandra's progress in life and even handpick a nice brethren to father her children. Uh, uh, my lord, we had to cut your journey on earth short, sir. Came the familiar voice again. It was the voice of the executive high priest Aikubi. 
uh, sir, we had to resurrect you quickly. We had no choice. For at home, there have been a development. Your father, the emperor, his royal highness, King Zaugard, is gravely ill. And he wants to see you urgently to pass on the reins of power, which is yours by birthright. By this time, planet Earth was long out of sight. A tiny star in the distant galaxy, like a grain of sand on a seven mile long Negril beach. Now the captain of the starship arose and addressed the crown prince. Your Royal Highness, I am sorry your death was so sudden and unpleasant. Your Highness, we had the option to make it happen suddenly and without warning, for the code was in place. Remember, you were born on the 22nd day of the month, and 22 is the number of ambush. And what about the two men who drove those two buses? asked the prince. Oh, that was easy to arrange, said the high priest. Remember the, Dete the Detesso twins? Detesso? asked the surprised prince. Those two idiots who boasted about their maneuvering capabilities and challenged me to a life and death race through the deadly quasar? Those idiots who tricked me into entering a black hole in space, who then alerted the hostile reptilians to my position on Saturn's smallest moon and caused me to lose almost half of my crew? Those same ones, sir. Uh, but remember, Your Highness, every story have two sides. As I do recall, you did bad drive them and cause them both to die. That is why they had the universal authority to kill you. They were, in spite of their disgusting ways, two brilliant and promising young minds. A whole planet mourned for seven long years because of their passing. They were sent to Earth by the magician Sargouf, their granduncle, to destroy you. Five times since childhood, we saved your life from their assault. Who do you think those two schoolboys were who put gramazone poison in your porridge when you were only 14 years old? Uh, and why do you think you fell and broke your arm and spilled the porridge that killed that poor dog? Those same two spirits that entered those two school friends of yours are the same two spirits that occupied those idiotic bus drivers, encouraging them to race and drive like madmen. We chose not to save you this time because your father need to see you urgently. Now you have paid your debts, sir, to the bloodline of the Detesto twins. Congratulations, sir. Take your mind off earth at this time. Your Majesty, we shall send a holographic image of you to the dream portals to your loved ones on earth to comfort them from time to time. But your majesty, your three beautiful wives and all 26 of your wonderful children are now at the skyport awaiting your arrival. Prince Zargov checked the ship's Akashic logbook. He was amazed. The great Michael Jackson was on board, along with more than 200 famous musicians he had heard of while living on earth. They were all being transported to their respective planets and galaxies. Michael Jackson was somewhere on the ship, but the prince knew he would never recognize him, even if he met everyone, as no one looked as they did on planet Earth. Some had two heads, some had even more. The prince himself did not resemble Alan at all. The fact that he now had three eyes and two penises was a minor aspect of his originality. He remembered the Earth's Holy Bible and the teachings of the great avatar, Jesus the Christ. He would recall what he had learned and record those teachings in the great Tetragrammaton, the book of all books. He could enlighten his people. The trip to planet Earth was a major success as far as he was concerned. As he peered through the logbook, the prince learned that his earthly mother, Juliet, was Tonga, the emperor's chief chambermaid. He understood now her mission. For Tonga was from an ethnic subclass who are not allowed to bear children while working for the royal family. 
He now recalled that she was planted on earth within a baby body 28 years before his arrival. His father was Tutmos, one of the emperor's good friends, who came to earth only to donate sperm for his body's creation. And Sandra, his earthly girlfriend, who he had grown to love dearly, was actually Malena, his childhood sweetheart, from the Nordic sector, a place that is beautiful out of this world, and a place where shadows simply does not exist. Every moment, therefore, is a Kodak moment, for no picture taken on earth can rival or compare to any photograph taken in the Nordic sector. The Nordic sector mountains are dotted with villages where all women have three breasts that never ever drop and with two vaginas. He recalled that while sexual ejaculation lasted a mere three seconds on earth, ejaculation in the Nordic sector lasted 15 whole minutes. And so sexuality in the Nordic sector leaves one with a juicy memory indeed. He remembered his sojourn there as a youngster when his planet's headquarters, the Golden Pentacle, was attacked by reptilian Vulcans and their friends, the Organic Cephalopods, who decimated his home state of Kalagi and almost defeated his father in the great battle that ended in the peace treaty, for both sides lost considerable power. This treaty, followed by the subsequent sharing of ancient cellular phone technology, turned out to be of great galactic significance, especially on planet Earth, to modernize and globalize that naive and backward planet. The great Prince Zagorov smiled again to learn that Bertram Solly, his earthly neighbor and good friend, was the chief palace gardener sent to watch over him by the emperor, Pangazi the gardener-in-chief had formally applied for an earth experience visa in order to learn patience and tolerance two very valuable attributes in palace life pangazi had a bad temper which he knew had to be fixed maybe that is why he studied and mastered in human psychology oh and by the way mistress hucklemore the teacher who was so strict and who taught Alan philosophy was none other than Ovina, Prince Zargov's godmother, the Grand Vizier of the Order of Zouk from the planet Isimar in the Pleiades galaxy, eight and a half light years away from the twin planets Chenelli and Chiniqua, where huge, powerful, fire breathing dragons exist. This is the original home of the Oriental people, Chinese and Japanese races, respectfully. Before traveling to Earth, the great prince has spent a short lifetime of 37 years in Kedar Kalib, the home planet of the Indian race and Hindu religion, where the inhabitants are beautifully cultured and colorfully dressed and have four hands each, a highly spiritual and meditative realm where the element of water is seven times more powerful than water found on planet Earth. The great prince thought to himself, I wonder if Mama Juliet knew all these things, if she would still be so sad and depressed today, and if she would still bother to cry. I wish I could still talk to Sandra, but I know that would only scare her to death. Someday when her Earth life is over, I will explain these things to her. Life within itself is a surprise, sealed with a host of other surprises, good, bad, and ugly. Prince Zagouf, while in the personage of Alan Refine, was so surprised when he was run over by a bus, so overwhelmed with horror, sadness, and pain. But as he traveled skyward, it all became clear to him. He remembered his arrival on planet Earth. He was rudely awakened from a deep galactic sleep. As he made his entrance through the Stargate, his beloved mother's vagina, he was greeted with great violence. A figure held him upside down and beat him with a wet towel. All he could do is scream. Now, 
with his new earth life degree, he's fully qualified to lead his people with wisdom. For he had managed to lead on earth an exemplary life. Earth, of course, being the living library of the known universe and practice pad of all great galactic rulers. And most of all, he thanked his mother, Juliet Dunbar, for her diligence, her kindness, and her impeccable discipline. Sila. At this time, I'd like to give you some names, you know, names for your youngsters, African names for your African children. It comes to you with the kind, kind compliments of Havko herbs and extracts. Now, it is important to note that Havko herbs and extracts have natural herbal products that are literally second to none, very efficient, tested and tried. The herbalists at Havco Herbs and Extracts are herbal designers who could and would design a medicine to suit your needs. You can get them at 876-540-8871. You can also call Havco Herbs and Extracts at 876-346-8871. 0070. So now let me give you some names, African names for our African children. First, I want to give you some um, female names and then I'll give you some male names. So here goes. Our first female name is Mukumbo. Mukumbo. It is written as M U. K U M B U. That is M U K U M B U. Mukumbu. Mukumbu actually was a sister of the great Queen Nzinga of Angola. Queen Nzinga ruled between 1583 and 1663. Queen Nzinga led her people in resisting Portuguese occupation. During one battle in which the Portuguese were victorious, the Queen's sister, Mukumbu, was captured. Queen Nzinga presented the Portuguese with 130 slaves in exchange for her sister's freedom. She also had another sister who was a fierce warrior too. Her name was um, uh, Kefunge. Uh, Kefunge. Uh, was also captured by the Portuguese. While being held prisoner, Kifunge managed to channel intelligence information to her sister, Queen Nzinga. In uh, October uh, 1647, Kifunge was drowned by the Portuguese as they retreated following a defeat by Queen Nzinga's forces. So, that's very sad, you know. It speaks volumes of what happened at home. Let's give you another female name. It's Kidin. Kidin. K-I-D-E-N. Kidin. This name comes from the Bari tribe of southern Sudan. It's a name for a female born after three or more boys were born. Here's another one, Kisache, Kisache, is spelled K-I-S-A-K-Y-E, but it's pronounced as Kisache. The Baganda people of Uganda, unisex name, that means grace. Here's another one, Kitoko. Kitoko, K-I-T-O-K-O, that's Kitoko. This is from the Lingala tribe of Zaire. Uh, this word means beautiful. Here's another one. Kazori, Kazori. Now, Kazori is spelled K-A, 
Z-U-R-I, pronounced Kazari. This word means small and beautiful in Kiswahili. And finally, Kai, K-A-I, pronounced as Kai. It's a female name from northern Ghana, meaning lovable. Kai, K-A-I. It means lovable, okay? Now let's give you some male names. Our first male name here is Jumoke. Jumoke. J-U-M-O-K-E. Jumoke. It is a Yoruba of Nigerian name, meaning everyone loves him. Everyone loves him. Jumoke. Here's another one. Saitoti. Saitoti. S A I T O T I. Saitoti. This is from the Maasai tribe of Kenya and Tanzania. It's a male name meaning the one who is generous. Here's another one. Semon. Semon. S A M O N, Simon. This name comes from Eritrea and Ethiopia. It is an Eritrean and Ethiopian version of the biblical name Simon, which means the Lord hath heard. Now here's another one Shahi. Shahi. S H A I H I. That is S H A I. Shai, Shahi, is a Hausa of West Africa term of respect, meaning the knowledgeable one, a professor or a teacher. Here's another one. Shange, 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 S-H-A-N-G-E, pronounced Shange. This is from the Zulu tribe of South Africa. A name that means who walks like a lion. Shange, a boy who walks like a lion. Here's another one. Yalwa, Yalwa, Y-A-L-W-A, Yalwa. Now this popular Hossa of West Africa unisex name means abundance, plenty. It may be used to infer that the child will bring good fortune or that the child was born in times of prosperity. And finally, Yara, Yara, Y-A-R-O, pronounced Yara. This is from the Hossa people of West Africa. The name meaning son, my son, Yara. Y-A-R-A, meaning son. So there you have it. With the kind compliments of uh, Hafco Herbs and Extracts. Remember, the their number is 876-540-8871 and 876-346-0070. Hmm. Let's go forward to our phone lines now. Greetings and good night. Yeah, good night. Yeah, how can we help you? Yeah, well, I like a call greeting. Okay, you ever did it? Yeah, a good while now, still enough. You know. Will you call a good while? But I last year, so. All right, um, so the whole year gone, you know. Call any, uh, you want a card reading, call any number in the range of one and ten. Four. Hold on. Yeah, come again. Two. Come again. Five. Come again. Seven. Come again. Three. Come again. Eight. Come again. One. That's it. Okay. Okay. All right. Your first card here is a card that shows that um, 
you have some kind of test coming up and the test have something to do with some kind of subtle warfare you know <coughs> yes uh, you ever feel that anybody trying to hurt you secretly <coughs> all right now something may has, may soon happen where either it appears as though somebody trying to hurt you secretly or openly but remember they can't really hurt you you know okay only you can hurt yourself thinking that they will hurt you okay you get it yes sir they cannot hurt you unless you believe that they can okay so it's all about you hurting yourself thinking that others are hurting you okay so you have to it is important for us to learn how to think okay your second card here shows a king on his throne. How old are you now? Uh, 52. Okay. Uh, you ever got married? No. You have a woman? Not at the moment. Okay. Um, a scenario will present itself where the idea of getting married may actually come up, you know? Okay. It may actually, you may actually have a couple sensible reasons to take that plunge, okay? Okay. There may be a, a ulterior motive to it. In other words, mm -hmm. it may be a scenario where you may want to live abroad. Okay. And an opportunity present itself where I can't say if it's love or not, but okay. marriage, marriage is part of the of the deal, oh. of the works, right? Oh, okay. Uh, I can only warn you to be respectful in all your ways. Because whoever it is is a person who may end up loving you. Mm -hmm. You know, and it is important that you be honest with her, okay? Okay. There's another card here now called Endeavor. You ever wanted to have your own business yeah how are you doing now um, I'm not now. okay well you're gonna have your own business you know okay but you'll know what it's about in the next three years okay I don't get you you will know within three years what that business is about okay 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 and there's a card here called delay. You may feel stagnant, like you're not getting ahead, right? Yeah. But it's just a delay. Okay. And usually for wise reasons too. Okay. Sometimes if you get what you want, you kind of don't want what you get, you know. True. Sure. If you get what you want at the wrong, at a bad timing, it turns out, it goes against you. <clears throat> right? So you have to have a lot of patience in this life. Okay. I can't hear no call content, suggesting that you will live to a very good old age and be very contented with your life. Mm. But then there's a card called the fool. Mm. A fool. You ever had a venereal disease like maybe gonorrhea? Yeah, years ago. Uh -huh. You know, it may have been on account of trusting someone sexually that you should not have trusted that way, right? Oh, true. All right. But the fool is a card that shows that you have not really learned the lesson properly. Oh. Mm. Because since then, you probably still made such blunders, okay? Mm. Don't make such blunders anymore. Or it may not be going to rain next time. It may be herpes. Mm -hmm. you know, something that you really, antibiotics and stuff can't get rid of that. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, be cautious. When it comes to your sex life, be careful. All right? Okay. Yeah. Then there's a card called order, suggesting that um, your life is going to be in order you may not be a religious person but you are a spiritual person somewhat mm -hmm. 
It's just that you need to remember to pray more. Okay. How often you pray? Well, every morning I rise to give praises to Jehovah. Every morning? Yeah, and every night, you know. And every night. You know? that, that is kind of standard, standard behavior, but it is important to do it at your astrological prayer time. Okay. When is your birthday? Uh, 11 of May. Okay, so you are a Taurus? Yeah. All right. What year are you born? Uh, 71. 1971. Now, yeah. I must warn you that because you are Taurus, mm -hmm. in the Bible, if you had to search for yourself in the Bible, you have to read Genesis, look for Jacob who had 12 sons, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know which of the 12 sons you would be? Ruben. Ruben, firstborn. Mm -hmm. And you know what Ruben did, right? Well, Ruben did. Ruben had sex with his daddy's wife. Okay. And he got a wicked curse out of it. Okay. So you are a Rubenite. Mm -hmm. Rubenite men, especially, almost always end up having sex with somebody that they really ought to know better. Okay. And in a way that is so careless, mm -hmm. and they end up regretting for the rest of them life. Okay. Either they have sex with somebody's woman and then they get this somebody pregnant and the person demand God with their child and them can't do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. Or they end up having sex with some kind of a friend woman or a family member or somebody that they really should have known better than that. Yeah. You must make sure these things don't happen to you because the punishment is severe, you know. Okay. The weirdest thing is that other people doing it too, you know. Mm -hmm. But they don't get the punishment that you would get. Okay. Because you use Big Brother, you should have known better. You're yeah, Ruben. Yes. You're supposed to be the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you need to know these things. But wait, there is more. You're born in 1971, which means that you are Lysimba, okay? Yeah. In China, they say you're born the year of the boar or the year of the pig. That means that yeah. your biggest money that you can make in this world is with food, you know? Okay. If you become a chef, you will murder them. I mean, mash it up. <laughs> okay. You do remarkably well. Or if you had to invest in any kind of business that deals with food, even okay. farming, even farming. Yeah. You ever did any farming? Yeah, yeah, me like that, you know. Yes, ma anything to do with food. Yeah, because uh, I want to sell some jelly and some dry as more. Yes, time, ma you know? anything to do with people eating or drinking. That mm -hmm. is where your power lies. Okay. But your temptation mm -hmm. lies in your inability to control your penis. Okay. You now, the penis is likened unto the one-pointed star, which is a comet or a meteorite. Um, and it overpowers Ruben. <clears throat> it literally destroys his future. Okay? Yeah. And I'm not telling you what I believe. I'm not a believer. I'm telling you what I know. Yeah. I do not teach belief. Yeah. Belief, as far as I'm concerned, is a waste of time. The key is to know the truth. True. So now, when you really check it out, you are someone that get ahead, get along with everyone, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody who don't like you is a person who, something probably wrong with them mentally, right? Yeah. But it's important for you to pray at your correct prayer time. Okay. You will not conquer as you ought to conquer if you don't practice praying at your prayer time. I said okay. all that to say that your prayer time is nine p.m. to 11 p.m. <clears throat> Maybe that's the time that you never pray at all, but that is your prayer time. Okay. That is the time when you are most powerful. Okay. When you are strongest. If you have to, have to write an application letter to get a job, that is the time you should write it. Right? Okay. okay. If you even got to choose lottery numbers and pull some numbers out of your brain, that is the time you should meditate. If okay. you do any kind of artistic work, that is the time you should do your art because it is between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. 
Yeah. Like a person who's a, who carve, who do wood carvings, mm -hmm. born your year, should do their carvings at that time. Okay. They would do spectacular work, okay? Okay. All right, so that's your time of creativity, your time to pray. And you don't have to kneel down to pray. Okay. And that is Mickey Mouse. You can mash up your knees kneeling down to pray. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. A one can lay down and pray, stand up and pray, mm -hmm. roll up and pray. Just make sure mm -hmm. that you pray at that time. Yeah. 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. So we have a fear. Well, that's uh, another thing. You need to face the north, north, west. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to face the north, north, west? Yeah. To look to the west. You have to face the north, you know. Yeah. And turn an inch to the left. Yeah, which is the west. Right. If you face the oh, north yeah. and turn an inch to the left, right? Yeah. You'll be facing two times north and one time west. So yeah. you'll still be looking in a northerly direction, but a bit, a slightly off, off the point of north. Yeah. And you'll be facing your guardian angel. Yeah, 9 to 11. Anywhere between 9 to 11. You can pray at 10 o'clock. Okay. I mean, it is quite obvious that you wouldn't need to pray for two hours, right? Because you gotta be very wicked to have something to tell God for two hours, <laughs> right? Yeah, what are you gonna be telling God for two hours? Two. <laughs> but you you can pray for a few minutes, you know. But anywhere yeah. between nine and eleven. Yeah. Ten o'clock is fine. A quarter to eleven is fine. Mm -hmm. Praying before nine o'clock, nah, or after eleven, it's, it's just uh, maybe maybe it's almost a waste of time. Mm -hmm. You you were cultured based on our religious Ray Ray to mm. pray when we go to sleep because we're afraid of the dark and Ray Ray pray mm. when we wake up because we're glad that God wake us up and that's cool to give you thanksgiving but if you really need something from the divine source yeah your time to ask for this thing that you need is between 9pm yeah. and 11pm and I say that with no apparent apology alright yes what is bothering you most no, 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 really, still, you know, come, it's not easy going first, you know, make don't really give me too much trouble, I need give myself a dick, you know, so I know what's a job I go and provide for me and can't live, you know, whatever you're there, you know, you yes, man. pass yes. the girls and do them best on the ability, you know, whatever you're there? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah that's my, that's mm -hmm. my, you know, I just have something going, you know, have mm -hmm. some work going. Yeah. No one's dinner or whatever, but they like to work still, you know, whatever you're there? Yeah. Don't yeah, worry, love man. Work. You you, your heart is clean, man. You'll be fine, okay? Yeah, man, I love work. So, you look good in the 23 and then. Huh? So, you look good in the 23 and then, His Majesty. You're talking too fast. Come again. Yeah, so, you look good in the 23 coming up. 2023? Mm hmm Well, um, what you need to do is listen to my show when January open. Mm hmm And I'll tell you then. Mm -hmm. because at that time I'll be able to know how the Lissimba people will fare okay. in 2023. 2023, yeah. uh, that is the year of the rabbit. Okay. The year, the year of Dowdy, okay? So what, what, what are you, what, are, what, what is the year for the Lissimba um, people? Pardon? What is the year for Lissimba people? Lissimba? Yeah. The years, what year? What year? The year, all the, the, well, you know, every 12 years is the symbol, right? Okay. So, like, um, every 12 years, the same batch of people come on earth, you know? Oh. Mm. So, anybody who's 12 years older than you, or 12 years younger, or 24 years older, or 24 years younger, them is you, all them people is you. Same, okay. same you, right? Same yeah. symbol. In other words, to put it, to put it bluntly, mm -hmm. 1935, right? Mm -hmm. 1947, 1959, 1971, 1983, 1995, 2007, right? 2019, all those years is Lucimba. Okay. All right? Yeah. 
and don't feel no way no the Lysimba people are it is said that of the 12 types they're the most pure hearted people in the world yeah they're the type of people who don't grudge anyone for anything no we like to look for one you know you know this is where you have I mean, this is the way you do for have yours. We like, me personally, speaking for myself, right. I don't see what you have. And I don't care what you have. Exactly. I don't, I don't know what you do to achieve what you Exactly. Earn. And those Lysimba so, people who find themselves eating pork should stop it immediately, you know? No, I'm not an American. Because it could cut them life short because yeah. Lysimba is the year of the pig. You eat mm -hmm. pork, you're technically eating yourself. They made it, you know? Oh, oh. Okay. Mash up yourself. So take it easy, okay? All right. Bless Don't it. keep in touch, man. Respect y yourself. Yes, Listen man. to you otherwise, still, you know. Well, we give thanks to have you. Yeah, because I love listening to you tell about the dream. Because I'm going to sleep back to me about the dream. You know, the dreams. Man, yeah, like, yes, man. Yeah, hey, yeah, tell it is the very dreams, important. Yes. Let me tell you this, right? Yeah. When you know what dreams mean and you go sleep and dream a thing, when you yeah. when you wake up, you know exactly how your day gonna go, how the next day gonna go, you know? Okay. I mean like exactly, you know? Okay. Like suppose you, you sell merchandise. Yeah. And you dream of pure green fruit, pure green things, right? Mm -hmm. There's no point going selling that day, you know? You may as well oh, just God. stay this, home this and, 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 and pray and fast because there's nothing out there. Mm. Right? And yeah. if you dream you see enough ripe fruit and all that, hey, you can go there even if you feel sick, man. You're going to okay. make money. So, yeah. so dreams tell you things. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the, the, the key is to know what the ancestors are telling you. Because dreams are very complex. Sometimes it go the opposite of what it said. Like if you dream you are at a funeral, you know it's a wedding coming up, you know. Yeah. And if you dream you are at a wedding, you know, so it's a funeral coming up. So the, the key is to know, you know. Sure, sure. But don't worry, coming up at four o'clock, I always talk about dreams, so. Yeah, man, I know. Exactly. So you don't know how we yeah. steer. You don't know how we steer, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, All man. right, so take it easy. Yeah, man, respect, yeah? Aye, aye. Bless it. Good, good. Good. Yeah, we have said that um, if you are Taurus, biblically, see, a lot of people don't understand that the Bible has its as his own astrology. Father Jacob had 12 sons. Christ had 12 apostles. Each would have been, in the case of Father Jacob, he had 12 sons. So you're talking about Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, 12 of them. And um, Christ had 12 apostles. You know? So you're talking about um, Abasi, Bandele, Cheke, Daudi, Ihioze, Fadil, Gamba, Hakazamana, Ibrahim, Jabari, Kamau, and Simba, right? So the Bible is, it have two sets of 12. And that match up with Eastern and Western astrology. But we have said that um, if you are Taurus, you are Ruben. And you'll be tested as Ruben was tested. And you subject to fall like he did. But there's more. Because if you're a Taurus, in the African world we call you Mandingo. So that's your astrological tribal heritage. Mandingo. Mandingo is the biggest tribe in Africa. Mandingo is in many African countries. It's huge. And if you're a Mandingo, a.k.a. Taurus, it means that your fruit is avocado, which you call a pear. It means that your birthstone is emerald. Wonderful stone. Beautiful out of this world. Very expensive too. It means that your lucky day is Friday. It means that your herb is wild cherry bark now think about that greetings blessed man yeah blessed how was it here to find man good how can we help you i heard they talk about the oracle what is an oracle 
Well, the oracle is a system of giving you a glimpse into the future, but I have it in a kind of a poetic kind of way. For instance, you want an oracle reading? Yes, man, I would like that. All right, but remember, um, you're, only ch you're only choosing one number, you know. Okay. And you'll get one poem. Okay. It's poetic wisdom of the future, okay? Okay. So call any number in a range of 1 to 15. 15. Hold on. Here goes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And a big number come up on it mark sixty five, right? Okay. Okay. And it says celebration. How old are you now? 61. Okay. Celebration. Yes. The oracle speaks. Big things are about to happen. An event that carry weight. Not your usual program, but a time to celebrate. This time of fun and laughter can't be contained in a box nor no little crate. Stop worrying, expecting disaster, for God is truly great. Commentary. 65 is a holy number. It gives powerful friends that mean you well. By choosing this stone, you are going great places. Goodness be upon you like under a spell. You hear that? Okay. Hearing something like that, you sh you're supposed to yell. <laughs> yeah, man, me feel it, man, me feel it. You want me to read it for you again? Yeah, man, I would mind it. <laughs> 65, yeah. celebration. The oracle speaks. Big things are about to happen. Mm -hmm. An event that carry weight. Not your usual program, but a time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. This time of fun and laughter can't be contained in a box nor a crate. Stop worrying, expecting disaster, for God is truly great. Exactly. Commentary. 65 is a holy number. It gives mm -hmm. powerful friends that mean you well. By choosing this stone, you are going great places. May goodness be upon you like under a spell. Blessings, man. Blessings. Okay? Blessings, my Jesus. Take it easy, my brethren. Yeah, man. God bless you, man. Bless it. Greetings. Good night. Yes, good night. How you do? I'm doing fine, sir. Okay. Okay, any any anything bothering you seriously? Um I just I want to ask you what is the good time for November Peaver? Next year will be the good time for the sixteenth, November the sixteenth. No, no, listen carefully. It don't have nothing to do with November. It has something to do with the year you're born. Yes, the year. What year I should were say. you born? Yeah, nineteen eighty nine. Okay. So you're actually born in the year of the snake, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but the problem, though, is that you are actually a scorpion, right? Because mm -hmm. you're born early November, November 16, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, in any case, 16 is a big challenge for you. 16 is a number that almost never allows your love life to work out, right? Yes. How's your love life right now? You did tell me that already, you know, not so good, you know. Right, so you're going to have to be extremely understanding when it comes to love life. You're going to have to okay. put up with a lot of things, you know. Yes. Because every day when it comes to love, it is a big test. Mm -hmm. well, if you get married, your chance of getting divorced is like 95% out of 100. <laughs> Unless you're blessed enough to get married to someone who match with you to perfection. Oh. Okay. Let me, tell you, so let me tell you, 16 is really a dis the official number yeah. of total destruction, right? Yeah, you did say yeah. that. But for those who okay. don't know, for those who don't know, okay, okay. 16 is a destructive number. It brings upheaval, earthquake, chaos, danger, explosions. Now, the vibration of number 16 is negative. 
Great care is needed or danger and great defeat would be the result. Love and marriage seldom work out happily. You called me last week? Yes. Yeah, I know, I know. Listen carefully now, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when, when, on my first show in January, first, second, and third shows, mm -hmm. I'll be telling you how things will be from two okay. standpoints. From the standpoint of, of your birth sign, which is Scorpio, and from the mm -hmm. standpoint of the year you were born. Okay. Now, hold on. Being a Scorpio and along with a snake is not simple. As a matter of fact, it may it put it place you in a very deadly position. In other words, the most serious human being to walk the face of the earth is a Scorpio snake. <laughs> the, scorp the Scorpio carry uh, very poison. poison, and the snake can also be very dangerous and poisonous. Right? Mm -hmm. You understand? So you will be a very quiet person. No trouble, nobody. Right? Mm -hmm. But if anybody really go out to them way to make you really sad, it wouldn't take nothing at all out to you to just end the game. You know what I mean? Yes. So yes. you have to you have to make sure that you live your whole life without hurting anyone. Yes. Because that is your challenge, you know. To that's live your whole life and don't harm no one, you know. Yes, that's why I always try to do good and so forth and you know like any look uh, confrontation i walk away you know right Hello, and so forth and thing like that but 16 is negative even in the gambling thing there you know 16 is negative all wrong you know yeah that's why i'm just telling you even in the gambling yeah. thing it oh, is negative oh, oh well what it means in gambling boy but I think it is bad girl or something like oh, that. I don't really yeah, remember. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Young girl. But something, yeah. you know, mean nothing good. Them, them say younger, but they really mean a younger that bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand. But still, you know, still, there's a chance for you, and that chance is for you to fast, do fasting. Yes, you know that I go on it, sir. Yeah. Uh, and I see. Uh, boy, did did I, I mention fasting to you before? Yes, to yes, uh, I should go on fasting. I did tell her that I was gonna go on fasting. Uh, I, we we talked about, talk about that last week, right? Yes, and yes, uh, I'm not supposed to eat anything. No, a real listen. A real fast is a fast. Listen, when you wake up in the morning, you have breakfast, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're mm -hmm. fasting through the night because you were sleeping. Uh -huh. So you break that fast by eating something in the morning when you wake up. That's breakfast. Uh -huh. uh -huh. a, a real fast is like you go 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours, all them day, like a whole day, a whole two days without eating. But, yeah, the, but you have other types of fast where you can go on a on a um, a herbal tea fast where you drink only herbal teas. That's great too, right? Yeah. Or you can go on a fruit fast where you only eat fruit and don't eat no cooked food, right? That is uh -huh. also very good. So you can choose what kind of fast, but the absolute fasting is eating nothing just yeah that's what they water. tell me I, I did it you know yeah but, how long but I did it and I feel like when I go downtown cause it's just juice alone I drink I did it for two days uh -huh. and when I go downtown and I was purchasing something you know say person actually give me more on what <laughs> um, I purchase but you see when fasting creates a breakthrough so okay. I was just wondering and thinking about it. it fasting, is a, listen, the greatest power source is fasting. You know, F when you fast, like you plug into a circuit, you know, and mm -hmm. get new energy. You know, yeah. Look, listen, a person who wants to go on a fasting spree, right, mm -hmm. could start like one morning. Mm -hmm. He have no breakfast, right? Mm -hmm. But he may have lunch, right? <laughs> But they, but they don't have no but they don't have no dinner, right? Mm -hmm. The next day you have no breakfast, no lunch, but you have dinner. Mm -hmm. The third day you have no breakfast, no lunch, no dinner, right? Mm -hmm. In other words, you can you can train your mind and body mm -hmm. into reaching that point where you can just fast for a couple of days without eating anything at all. And I can tell you, you get breakthroughs like things that you really find it impossible to achieve. You just pull that to you. Yeah. Right? 
I, yeah, I, know, I, have, I have a brethren who fast and end up meeting his soulmate and he, he went he went for years without having a woman you know oh, and, he, wow. and, by, and he fast and the brethren just because he fasting he decided to go somewhere where he don't really meet up with no people uh-huh. you know like for instance he live in Kingston right yeah. He's fasting. So he goes to the Blue Mountains and decide uh-huh. that he's going to chill. But Bridget, yeah. the man meet one sister in up there, you know? Oh. What a sin thing. And him and his sister in married now. That Bridget went nearly eight years without... That's, that's just good. Without not even getting a, 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 a kiss. Whoa. And now he married, right? Yeah. Because he actually, where he went to get away from people, he met her. Yeah. Right? True. She was just passing through. And she, and she stopped. She stopped and was looking some herbs and he met her, right? Yeah. So I'm just telling you that wonderful things happen through fasting. Yeah. Fasting breaks seals. It breaks the seals. Yes. I know. I know that fasting is good. Even right. the Bible tell you that. All right. So, so one can conquer anything by conquering oneself. Fasting is about conquering yourself. Yeah. Commentary. Listen to this. When the human being fasts, right? Yeah. The angels look upon him and say, "Wait, how come? How, how come this one not eating?" It's like it's a, if if a mother notices that her child not eating, what she does, she rush him to the doctor, isn't she? Mm-hmm. She gets she find out, try and get his attention, find out what how he could be attending and what could be given to him that he would be happy and eat again, right? Mm-hmm. But the same thing when a human being fasts. The angels try and find out what they could do for him. Yeah. Listen, if a wicked man from death row who murdered 10,000 people decide him go for hunger strike, what them do? Them do everything in them power to get the man to eat again, you know? Mm-hmm. Before they kill him. <laughs> yeah. Remember I, think I, got, I think a gentleman usually they are on God striking children full time combat or deal. All them thing there, right? <laughs> yeah, that's that and the government do what he want after that time. Could you imagine the government the government wanna murder him, you know, but they want him healthy first. Yeah. Then they murder him. Right? <laughs> right? No, yeah. I, I know that sounds really ridiculous, but it's true. Fasting <laughs> is something else. Well, I was just calling you for just tell you that I did it. You understand? Right, Cause right. Yeah, I did everything in, in my intention. Yeah, man, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear my... It'd be good for you to, re, to revisit that, like, uh, ha, pick a day out every month and just do it, right? Yes. I know some most of the time I do eat at work till when I come home. Because when I did tell us, I read, like, all the two hours mm-hmm. by, like, fasting, I said that is a joke. Which one I'm there at work and sometimes I feel hungry till we end the evening. No, 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 wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't jump the gun now. If you are at work, right? Mm-hmm. What kind of work are you doing? Huh? Okay, if you're at work, I right? do maintain. All right, if you're at work, right? Mm-hmm. You're interacting with people, right? Mm-hmm. People have very strong energies, you know. Human beings suck energy from each other, you know. A human mm-hmm. being is a number one parasite, you know. Mm-hmm. A human being is like a vampire, you know. Some human beings suck energy from some, and some people give some energy. You got human beings that give you energy, and some that suck your energy. So yeah. when you at work, it is important that if you want to fast, you carry a thermos with you, maybe with some ginger tea or so to break the gas, right? Mm-hmm. Always break that gas, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you don't want to pick up gas problems. Yeah. And if you're making gin- carrying ginger tea, just don't put sugar in it. You can carry <laughs> unsweetened ginger tea or you can sweeten it with, with a little honey. But yeah. just don't use sugar. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. But if you if you if you're really fasting is good when you when you do fasting when you when you're not at work. When you don't yeah. need to be around people, so or you can conserve. Nice and so yeah, so you can I, conserve. I, I understand. You can I conserve your. It. You can keep your energy unto yourself. Yes, I okay? understand that. I understand right. that. But I just want to wish you 
all the best for the new year. I tell you what, let me let me give you uh-huh. a little, let me give you a little oracle thing, man. All right. Yeah. You want to hear what the oracle have to say? No problem. No man, don't tell me no problem. Say yes or no. Yes, yes. We're not yes, talking sir. about problems, you know. So you can't tell me no problem. Yes, sir. Say yes, man. Yes. Okay. Call any number in the range of one to fifteen. Okay, nine. That's it. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, here it goes. It says long. It says number seventy-three. Long living. Okay. You don't mind living long, right? No. Okay. As long as I have good health. Yes, man. Long living. Number seventy-three. The oracle speaks. Sometimes you may imagine dying young, though your health is fine and you are strong. Mm-hmm. Don't worry in any way. For you will live until you're old and gray. Be a vegetarian if you can. Such a simple lifestyle would pay and good health would be here to stay. Commentary. 73 is common sense and wisdom. In this you should invest. Live a loving, honest and simple life and let time do the rest. You heard that? Yes. All right. You take care of yourself, my brother. Yes, I will call you next year. Okay? Yes, ma'am. You take it easy. Thank you. Bye. Bless it in Jamaica. At this time, I'd like to big up my dear sister, in, Nurse Janet. Um, Nurse Janet, big up yourself. Uh, she is in uh, Linstead Hospital. I'd like to also big up my bona fide brethren and mentor, Mr. Sylvan Morris. Mr. Morris, sir. Respect you and a whole heap of love and niceness on this um, wonderful season. Season. A little big up um, people who don't miss our show. People like uh, Tony Boyce in Trinidad, um, Brian Lord in St. Vincent, Janice Cox in St. Lucia, Paula Green in St. Croix, Roy Harrison in Dominica. Sandra Green in Tobago, Margaret Henkel in the Turks and Caicos Islands, Emmanuel Prince in uh, Wesley Village in Dominica, Sister Natty in Woodford Hill Village in Dominica. Big up on yourself. It's now 3.08, eight minutes after three. Let's return to our phone lines. Greetings and good night. Yes, I greet you. Yeah, greetings. How do you do? Yeah, I'm not too well. I like a card reading. A card reading, okay. Yeah. This is your first time? No, man. Okay. So you had many card readings before? No. Oh, oh, yeah, I had no. Okay. Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. All right. 7. 7. Uh, come come nine. again? 9. Hold nine. on. Hold on. Nine. Uh huh. Give me another one now. Uh, I'm gonna say four. Four. Come again. Seven. Come again. Ten. Come again. Uh, three. Come again. Five. Okay, question. You ever wanted to be an engineer? Yeah, man, I'm an engineer, you know? You are an engineer? Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, what kind of engineering you do? Mechanical. Yes, man. You know, that's what you were born to do, you know? Yeah, man, I'm skilled at it, you know? Huh? Skillful. I'm very skilled. Yes, man, you were born to do that. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you did not choose that field, you would probably not be alive today, you know? Yeah. Yes, man. As if we could start, I can't tell what to do. Wow. Your first card here is a son. You have any sons? Well, I'd say 
they get one, but the mother not give me. You, you, you made, you made one, but you didn't get it. Yeah. So she gave away the baby. Yeah. Uh, you went and plant um, um, uh, pumpkins for another man land. Yes, man. Yes. Right. So, if you plant pumpkins for another man land, another man can reap them. You know. Yes, man. And you have to just stand so back. Yeah. And just feel one way, not you? True, true. But you know, it's a wicked punishment. You know. Yeah, man. I know. I know. How old that son would be now? That son nine forty. You know. There you have it. And him, him don't know nothing about you? No, but from your seam, you know? From your seam, you know? Do the next man get it, you know, or a fool around, you know? Yes, yes, yes. You know, um, that's what happens a lot in Jamaica, you know? Yeah, I know. You know, women give away the baby to who, who who's best to give it to, right? Yes, yes. Because if she give it to you, a big problem. Yes. Yeah. No, I grew up in Barbados, you know. Yeah. And we have a different, we do diff, we do it different in Barbados. So. Sure. In Barbados, if you plant pumpkin for another man land, you're going to raise war for your pumpkin still, you know. Yeah. Put all the man the woman in court. Put all the husband and wife in court for your baby, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. How, we, that's how we roll. You understand? Yes, yes, yes. Um, in Jamaica, you don't do that because you don't want the man to kill you. You, you sure. don't want him to kill the woman. Yeah. So you just turn so back and you lose your child, right? Yes, yes. Let me tell you, six or one and a half dozen the other, but yeah. Your first, this first card here. So you don't have no other sons, right? No man, but we got some powerful daughter. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, you lose a lot by losing that boy, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You lose a lot. Trust me on that. You have another card here, so no, called Prudence, suggesting that you need to find a way to save some money, you know? Huh? You need to find a way to save money. Yeah. Right? Yes. How well are you doing when it comes to savings? Save good, you know? Yeah, you need to practice that seriously. Yeah, because man. They hide my money, man. They always put it up to the bank, you know? Yeah, important, you know? Because yeah, that, that is what is going to really help you later on. Yes, ma'am. You have another card here now, and there's a grandson who's going to be close to you. Yes, ma'am. There's a true, grandson, true. you know. You 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 either have a grandson or you will get a grandson. Who's no, ma'am, have been running close to me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You see, him, him is going to be an engineer of a higher magnitude, you know. Yes, ma'am. How old him is now? 14 years old, but he's brilliant in school. Listen, man, him going to be an engineer for some other level. Yeah. Okay. Yes. There's a there's a no there's a card you know called delay. There has been lots of delays in your life, you know. Yes. Yes. You know you're supposed to own two homes. Yeah. Huh? Well, I own one, you know. Listen, man. You have a next one coming. Yeah. You're gonna rent out one and live in one. Yes. That's part of the plan, right? Yes, sir. You have another card here now, and it's called the moon. Do you have a wife? Well, I don't marry them. You have a woman? Yes, yes. All right. Now, for the rest of your life, it is imperative that you do not trouble nobody things, you know? Yes, true, true. For the rest of your life, you know? Yeah. Don't trouble no man, woman. All right. It, it can spell your doom. It can bring your life to a close. Don't do that. All right. Don't say me. Don't say nobody. Never warn you. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. There's a woman who's going to tickle your fancy, but you cannot play a Nancy. Yes. <laughs> you may get licked down by a man called Sam Francis. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. So it's serious. It's real yeah. serious. Yeah. You have another card, you know, called Joy, which means that basically, you know, apart from certain little things, you're basically a happy man, you know? Yes, I Yeah. You're going to also get a piece of land to do some farming to, you know? Yes, I You ever think about doing that? Yeah, we do little farming, you know. Yeah, but you can get a piece of land that will be in an excellent position to do a bit more, better farming than you, what you can do right now. Yes, sir. That's coming in the next one, two, three, four, five, six years. 
Yeah. And then there's the Queen of Nurture suggesting that um, you were close to your mother. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you have Mom your mother's. Is. You have your mother's nurture. You know. Yeah. And your daughters will be there to nurture you when you're very elderly still. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's no evidence that anybody interfering, interfering with you in any way right now. Yes, I. Okay? Yeah. But um, for some strategic reason, I think you should call me off the air one of these days, okay? All right, I will do that. Yeah, my number is 844-2295. I will come visit them, man. I know where you... You know me there. Okay, it is, yeah. imp it is uh, important, right? Yes, I. Yeah, it, is, it would not be right for me to tell you right now, but no, man. check me. Okay, so you take care of my brethren. Phone card run out. Take it easy. You're listening to Radio Jamaica. The show is Wisdom Unveiling on the Upper Deck. I'm your host, Majesty. And right here with me is Jacob at the Musical Control. The big question now at 326 is how to identify a heart attack. That is the question. If something went wrong with your heart, would you know it? Not all heart problems come with clear warning signs. Uh, there's not always an alarming chest clutch followed by a fall to the floor as you see in the movies. Some heart symptoms don't even happen in your chest. And it's not always easy to tell what's going on. Chest discomfort is the most common sign of heart danger. If you have a blocked artery or are having a heart attack, you may feel pain, tightness, or pressure in your chest. Everyone has a different word for that feeling. Some people say it's like an elephant is sitting on them. Other people say it's like a pinching or burning. If it's just a very brief pain, or if it's a spot that hurts more when you touch or push it, it's probably not your heart. You should still get it checked out by a doctor. If the symptoms are more severe and don't go away after a few minutes, you should see a doctor immediately. Nausea, indigestion, heartburn, or stomach pain. Some people have these symptoms during a heart attack. They may even vomit. Women are more likely to report these types of symptoms than men. So if you feel this way, then you are at risk for heart problems. Pain that spreads to the arm. Another classic heart attack symptom is pain that radiates down the left side of the body. It almost always starts from the chest and moves outwards. You feel dizzy or lightheaded. Many things could make you lose your balance or feel faint for a moment. Maybe you didn't have enough to eat or drink, or you stood up too fast. But if you suddenly feel unsteady, and you also have chest discomfort or shortness of breath, call a doctor right away. It could mean your blood pressure has dropped because your heart isn't able to pump the way that it should. Then there's throat or jaw pain. By itself, throat or jaw pain probably isn't heart related. More likely, it's caused by a muscular issue, a cold or sinus problem. But if you have pain or pressure in the center of your chest that spread up into your throat or jaw, it could be a sign of a heart attack. If you get exhausted easily or if you suddenly feel fatigue or out of breath after doing something you had no problem doing in the past, like climbing the stairs or 
carrying groceries from the car, then make an appointment with your doctor right away. These types of significant changes are more important than every little ache and pain you might be feeling. Extreme exhaustion or unexplained weakness, sometimes for days at a time, can be a symptom of heart disease, especially for women. Snoring. Snoring. It's normal to snore a little while you are in a deep sleep. But unusually loud snoring that sounds like a gasping or choking can be a sign of sleep apnea. That's when you stop breathing for brief moments several times at night while you are sleeping. This puts extra stress on your heart. Sweating. Breaking out in a cold sweat for no obvious reason could signal a heart attack. If this happens along with any of these other symptoms, call an ambulance or a taxi and get to a hospital right away. Don't try to drive yourself. Don't do that. A cough that won't quit. In most cases, this isn't a sign of heart trouble. But if you have heart disease or know you're at risk, pay special attention to the possibility. If you have a long-lasting cough that produces a white or pink mucus, it could be a sign of heart failure. This happens when the heart can't keep up with the body's demands, causing blood to leak back into the lungs. All of these signs help to identify a heart attack. It is important to know these things for right here, on the upper deck. It is important to remember these things so that you know what to do. In any case though, if you have a heart attack and you're sure you have a heart attack, one way to save yourself is to do a lot of deep coughing. Cough every three seconds or so and that causes the chest to chest muscles to expand and tighten and, and all that and it gives the heart a kind of internal massage to help the blood to go back pumping normally so you can actually save your own life by a very very regular prolonged deep coughing greetings and good night greetings Good night. Good night. How you do? I'm doing good so far. Excellent. Season's greetings to you, ma'am. How can we help? Um, I need a card reading, please. Okay, let's do it. Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. 8. Hold on. Come again. 8. Come again. 9. Come again. Five. Come again. Two. Come again. Four. Hold on. Come again. Seven. That's it. Okay. How old are you now? 53. Okay. There's a card here called Prosperity, though. So, something is going to happen because your prosperity is going to come. It's going to find you, okay? Okay. Yeah. Is there certain fruits that you don't like? What? Is there any fruits that you do not like? Yeah. What fruits you don't like? Apparently, this card is saying that you need to eat more fruits, you know? How often? I think I eat. Huh? Yeah, you I eat, think I eat. You eat, you eat. you eat a lot of fruits? Yeah, when they eat more small, but now... I mean, in these times, you don't really eat much fruits, right? Yeah. Man, I asked you to eat a June plum. 
Huh? Well, we have a tree here, you know, but we don't really fool around it. You have jung plum all in your yard, right? Yeah. But you're not eating them? No. So why do you think the most high God put a jung plum tree in your yard? Or <laughs> better yet, put you in a jung plum tree belly? Why? No, but there's no fool on it sometimes. No, it's not a matter of fool. You just don't bless yourself with a nice jung plum blessing, right? Okay. I think that you're doing the wrong thing, you know. There's something in that fruit that is good for you, why you and that tree is close like that. Yeah. You don't see some nice big juicy ones sometime, Mama? Yes, one too. Like real juicy and your mouth don't water. Tell me the truth. Yeah, 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 true, true. And you still refuse to bite it? <laughs> we we want we want Mother Nature to to grab you and just juke it down your mouth. What do you want her to do? You come in like a cow that get carried to water and refuse to drink. Okay. You need to eat more fruits or you're going to be sick, ma'am. Okay. That's the truth. Does your skin itch you anytime? It just can do what? Does your skin scratch you sometime? Yeah. How long that been going on? I don't get it. I don't get upon that part. Does your skin itch you or scratch you anytime? Listen. By not eating the fruits around you, right? Yes, sir. You may start becoming allergic to a lot of things, you know. Okay. I start get skin scratching and all yeah, different yeah. kind of foolishness, you know. The, the fruits, okay. there's a reason for the fruits. They protect you. Okay. They have powers, okay? Yes, sir. Nutritional powers. You have another card here, and it says joy, which means that you are going to be a happy person, you know. Okay. You get unhappy very often? Yes, sir. Like real sad sometime? Yes, sir. And you get real depressed? Yes, sir. So what it is that you don't have that make you get so depressed? Well, I just said that, and we have some time where you know, be every right with some time, you know. Okay. So your daughter don't behave the right way, son. That depress you, right? Yeah, the last one. Yeah, but listen carefully now. How old she is now? Yeah, seventeen. Seventeen. Does she leave home and go places? Yes, sir. And spend how long? Sometimes a week, week and a half days. Okay, and you don't know where she gone? Well, because she understand where where she going. Where, where she going? With a guy where he is with. So she's going with a guy? Yes, sir. Okay, but she's 17 years old, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, according to government, you know, she is somewhere near of age from there, right? Yes, sir. So she's either going to listen, but those who don't hear will feel, right? Yes, sir. Not every child that disobey gets to regret it, you know. Sometime it work out for them. Yes, sir. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Right, so so some of them get a beating, but some of them get a blessing too. Okay. You remember being disobedient to your mother? No. You always obey your mother? Yes. How much children you made? Six. Six children. All right. No. Listen carefully. Yes, sir. You cannot control everyone. Okay. The part of the problem may be that you made your daughter in a year that is not compatible to the year you were born. Okay. For instance, do you remember what year she was born? Yes, sir. When she born? The 15th of March, 2005. So she born in 2005, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So she's born in the year of the rooster. Okay. Roosters are very feisty people, you know. And that she is. Roosters are extremely feisty people. Now, maybe a man could do her some bad things, but she would do a man some bad things too, you know. Okay. She, she, she terrible too, you know. Okay? 
Yes, sir, me understand that. She will damage a boy too. She's not no little lamb, you know. All right? Yes, sir. So she have her own standards. But me just want to know if everything all right within where, he, where she is. No, everything not all right where nobody is. Everything not even all right where you are, no, where I am. Yes, sir. It's just that we have to just learn to accept reality. Yeah. And just have faith and go through. Okay. Because you could be in danger anywhere you are. Right? You can stay home and look through the window and an airplane can drop out the Skype on your house and kill you, right? Yes, sir. Not true? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So hear me now. When is your birthday? The 18th of March, 69. Right. So, so, so you born the year of the rooster and your daughter born the year of the rooster? Yes, sir. So two fold cock that in one house, you know, in one cub, you know? What a scenario! You have you don't have to win two fold cock in one cup and worse yet, you're born the eighteenth and eighteen is the official number of family quarrels and violent fights, you know. Okay. Right? So you 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 will inspire some serious quarreling too, you know. So so in order to get peace of mind, sometimes she have to get away from you. Think about that. Okay. Right? So you think that she's the problem, but you're both the problem. All okay. right. I seen that there's no farmer that will grab none of you and cook you. You remain alive, right? Yes, sir. And give pure trouble upon the yard. Hold on. Let's look what happened when what happened when two rooster people come together. Rooster and rooster. That's two rooster people are like you and she, right? Yes, sir. It says here, when two rooster people come together, there's clashes of wills and struggle for superiority in their contact with each other. Let me tell yes, you again. Sir clashes of wills and a struggle for superiority in their contact with each other. Few areas of understanding. Civil ties at best. Totally incompatible. Right? Yes, sir. That is the real problem, Mama. Because neither one of you will ask the other one what them think. Yes, sir. But you, she will jump on your, on your back and say, how you citizen, how you treat me this way, but you're not treat you're not treating our brother like that. Why me? Why you want to tell me what you do? I way to go. And you let your yes. brother you let brother go wherever he wanna go, right? Yes, sir. So she will run you away, right? Yes, sir. And you at the same time know that what she doing is not ladylike and ray ray, right? Yes, sir. But you cannot ram it down her throat because she's not going to listen to you. Now oh. If you were, let's say, a Chinese person, right? Yes. Sir. You would have done no not to make a baby in a rooster year. Okay. But, because them people have a chart, you know. Yes. Sir. But we the Africans, we don't have no chart. We get pregnant okay. anytime and make any person. Okay. And then we, we, we make some idiots we don't even want to hear nothing we have to say. <laughs> because what the idiotic thing is that them they're not geared to listen because they're not compatible with us. Okay. So we're in pure trouble, you know? Okay, it, okay. Only because we don't know who we are. You never yes. know that you was a rooster, right? Yes, sir. She don't know she's a rooster. You two, you don't know that two roosters are a cock fight. Big problem. Yeah, well, from, since we're listening, you make it understand that it's what was the same thing. So, no, not only the same thing. You're two roosters. Yeah. So there's only one thing to do. She can read and write, right? Yes, sir. And you can read and write? Yes, sir. So, what you can do is write down the things you need to say to her, right? Yes, sir. But always, before you write down, the first thing you need to write, write and yes. let her know that you, 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 it's hard to communicate with her because you know you're not compatible, but you want her to know first and foremost that you love her. Yes, sir. Do you know what? Do you, sometimes you believe she don't love you, right? But I don't really think that, you know. But just how you believe sometimes, sometimes I wonder if All something right. was really wrong do with you. you, you know remember, thing, you know? Do you remember telling her that you hate her? No, sir. Good. So, 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 so the love is not lost, right? Yes, sir. All right. But the way she behaves is uh, just a young person who wants to be free. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. I don't want nobody to tell them what to do because them know them can handle themselves out there. Yes, sir. In other words, you will sit down in your house and imagine some weird things happening to her out there, right? Yes, sir. But them weird things probably not even happening. Okay. Think about that. Yes, sometimes I think that, yes. Look, let me tell you something. I was once living in a village with a scenario like that where the mother is a rooster, yes. the daddy is a rooster, yes, sir. and them had a daughter who's a rooster, right? Yes, sir. Well, the mother and father used to fight like two bad dogs, right? Yes. Until he went his way. And by the father gone out, the girl, through the, through the man force not there, she just, yes, she just go, look, look, man, and she out the road, right? Yes, sir. But even though she went and looked man, you know, I can tell you this. She ended up being married a few years later, right? Yes, sir. And you know the weirdest thing? Yes. At the time that she got married, she was a virgin, you know? Okay. Could you imagine? I mean, nobody had no idea how that play like that. Okay. She was out there doing all manner of things. She was even drinking little liquor. Yes, sir. But no man can go up on top of her, sister. Okay. Right? A yes. man would have more easily find himself in the morgue. More than find himself in a bed with she, you know. Okay. And when she did get married, she was a virgin. Okay. I, I know the husband very well. I actually know her very well, too. Yeah. So, nothing in life is what it at first appear to be. The mother really tried very hard with her. Right? Yes, sir. The father tried his best too, but their, their best was not enough. She went out there and she do all kind of thing. She drank liquor, smoked weed. She do all kind of thing, but she don't have sex with nobody, you know? Okay. And she was not a tomboy. She's a girl. Yes, totally sir. feminine. Right? Yes, sir. And she got married and was a virgin on her wedding day. No, okay. I cannot make up something like that. Believe you me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm telling you, you don't really know the truth. You know, you'll have a suspicion about things. Because yeah. you know how things usually play. Yeah. Right? And men play all kind of games with you, so you don't want man to play them games with your daughter, right? Yes. Yeah. But maybe she's smarter than you by leaps and bounds, and we don't know this. Okay. You have another card here, so no that show a woman in her wedding gown, you know? Okay. You ever get married yet? No, sir. Uh, well, one of you gonna get married, you know? Okay. Either you or she. You have another card here, you know, called the Empress, which shows that you are a good mother, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's it hard for you to keep everything together, but you're still a good mother. Yeah, you make how much children? Six children? Yes, sir. One boy and five girls. Okay. How many fathers? One father. Okay. So you keep yourself together, right? And this father, yes. now, where is he now? He right here. Okay. Now, when is his birthday? Um, September 8, 1964. Okay. So he, he's born the year of the dragon. So he will be more compatible with her than you. Okay. You understand? Yes, sir. She will, she will listen to him more than... She cannot listen to you. But she will listen to him. Okay. But he decided to take it easy and don't don't drive himself crazy over she. Right? Okay. And chance, thing, I did, what uh -huh. I want to read, really also, he did write a suicide note here. And he did um, call me, tell me that he drink Gramazone. I don't know how true he did drink it. Listen to me. You see who want to drink Gramazone? Yes, sir. Better, de better them drink Gramazone more than put Gramazone in another person drink. No, true? Yes, sir. No, think about it. Better person kill themselves more than kill other people. No, true? Yes, yes, yes. So don't get to, to don't make nobody drive your mouth out. Then one, then drink Gramazone. Then one, drink Gramazone, let them go and drink Gramazone. That's their choice. <laughs> you want to choose to drink Gramazone? Hey, <laughs> full jar yourself with that. Listen, you're not supposed to care too much, you know. Caring too much is madness. Okay? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Who who you, who you know really care about humanity? God, right? 
Yes, sir. God really care about humanity, don't you? Yes, Them tell you that, right? Them send him only begotten son and blah, blah, right? Yes, sir. Well, him send him only begotten son, who as calling to them, he come and died for their sin, right? Yes, And guess sir. what? It's the weirdest thing I ever hear in my lifetime because sinners love sin more than them love their mother. Okay. So guess what now? 2,000 years passed and sinners are more sinful than before. Eh? Yes, yes, sir. Not true? Yes, yes. Men are kissing up one another from park bench. Eh? Right? True, true. Women are doing all manner of weird stuff to each other. Right? Yes, sir. People running up and down with guns and shooting who them please. Right? So yes, what sir. was the point in God sending him only son about him love the world so much and blah, blah. Okay. That experiment was probably, it don't, it don't look like it was very successful, mama. Right? Okay. Yes, sir. Which means you're not supposed to care like that. You talk to a child and if you want to drink grandma's own, fine. You did your best. When he really did, but I'm mean, I mean, really not consider if anything, if anything, he might go through where he might go. And the problem he have are any. You, you have no control over that. You give, give her your love. Let her know you love her, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. But listen to me. You see the person who write letters in them and drink Ramazon? Them not nah, drink no Ramazon. People who would have really drink Ramazon don't left none them. Just drink that. No true? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Then they them make them kind of letter because they want people to go mad over them. Okay. But you're not supposed to you're not supposed to love nobody like that. You're not supposed okay. to get so 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 caught up in your love of your child that he threatened to drink Gramazone and you're gonna die before him drink the Gramazone? And you're gonna threat <laughs> mental institution before him drink the Gramazone? Better him drink that Gramazone first before you go mental institution, don't you? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So stop the foolishness about your care and care. Almighty God cares so much in sending only begotten son. 2,000 years past. Ask anybody if you doubt me if they were no more wicked. Because a sinner loves sin more than he loves his mother. Okay. Listen. Look at sin. You know how sweet and juicy sin is, mama? Yes, sir. Try telling a, a person or sinner to don't sin. It run your way. Say, I idiot. Okay. For that him love, right? Yes, sir. No true. Yes, sir. So the whole thing about Christ come and die to save my sin, that's a waste of time. Christ yes. never came to die to save nobody from sin. He came to teach them wisdom. Yes, sir. Right? Okay? Yes, sir. He got killed in the process because he was trying to teach sinners. Okay? Yes, sir. But he never came to die for them. If he came to die for them, he would not say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? They should have rubbed out that out the Bible. They shouldn't leave that oh. in the Bible. That's oh, a big okay. sellout. Yes. Not true. Yes. That's a sellout. For him to say something like that, that means him never agreed to come and die for idiots. <laughs> so hear me now. Don't crucify yourself because your child say she gonna get vexed and crucify herself. You yes, want to crucify sir. yourself? Fine. Okay? Okay. Yes. You sir. see the parent who treat a child with understanding yes sir must also know how to treat him own heart with kindness and understanding okay. so you got you must be kind to yourself you must understand your own self okay yes sir because all those who say that they will kill themselves and don't kill themselves them is cowards they not kill themselves at all they want okay. you to kill yourself for 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 the demon inside of them to laugh at you Okay. Yeah, they have demons inside of them, you know, laugh at you when you run okay. go, kill, go go mad over them. Right. You're supposed to love a child like that. You love a child, but you have your limit. You want to drink grandma's own? Fine. Don't hide no grandma's own from her. Don't do that. You want to drink it? Sit over there. Right? <laughs> yeah. You understand? I don't know what psychologists are telling children. Don't worry about the plan, man. If you think run out, you can always listen on the radio. Listen, yeah, you have a card. Yeah, you, you have a card called love. Okay. Yes, sir. It means that your husband love you, your man love you, right? Yes, sir. And you must now make sure that you love you. If you don't yes, want to love yourself, fine. Make sure you love you, right? Yes, sir. You have another card here, so no, and it's it's oh, apparently, you have a son. Yes, sir. How much sons do you have? One son. How you, and him, how you and him get along? We're, we're not really talking of just 
same behavior to one other behavior too. So, him, him have weird behavior too? Yes, sir. Oh, oh. when is his birthday? The 3rd of April, 19... Um, well, he's, he's, he's born the year of the dragon, okay? Yes, sir. The dragon is somebody who them, them very feisty too, you know. But but him and him sister supposed to be compatible. Them don't get along. Phone card run out? No problem. Good. The dragon and him sister may get along. Because dragon or rooster them can talk. But the dragon don't really care that much about this and that and left and right. He do his thing too. And there's a card in now called Potency suggesting that you're going to end up having a grandson who's going to be a mighty little boy. I can tell you if the girl will produce him or if the boy will produce him but he's going to come and he will make you glad that you, had, that you have children to have brought him into the world. So stop worrying over children young people who don't care don't do that all right so they can assure you that them good they will do what they want to do anyway this my friend is wisdom unveiling now as i said before there are 12 types of people and these 12 types of people produce 12 types of children well a child born the year of the rat that's hardly, that child would hardly give any serious trouble. But that child care a lot about his parents' feelings. He's really a caregiver. A child born the year of the ox hardly give any trouble. That's a stubborn child, but he want to have things of his own. He will go out there from early and work and try to achieve for himself. Right? A child born the year of the tiger well, he, he, could, he could be a troublemaker. He want to have fun. He will make the most expensive mistakes. But somewhere down the road, he'll catch himself. A child born the rabbit, the year of the rabbit, you almost never hear that he's in any, cause any problem at all. Very quiet, very cool, very logical, very diplomatic. He don't come out to hurt nobody's feelings. A child born the year of the dragon, he or she don't care who think what and who business and who vex. They may do what they feel like, but the dragon is very smart. And as a little conqueror. A child born the year of the snake. You don't even know what bother him. He quiet as a mice. Well, a mouse, right? He holds things deep inside. You would have wish he would cuss and carry on because at least if he do that, you'll know what's bothering him. Very sneaky, very wise. So you're not gonna have no big problem with him, really. A child born the year of the horse, he or she want to gallop. He may even run away from home too, but don't expect no trouble. That child is very wise and know exactly what they're up to do, what they want to do and what they come to achieve. A child born the year of the sheep, that child will stay around the parent's foot for a very long time because as a very quiet child, feelings easily hurt. He or she don't want nobody to hurt him or her. Very quiet. You don't have to worry about a sheep child. A child born the year of the monkey. That's a super smart child when it comes to money. Wherever money is, he or she will go and grab that. Is he, if he's even, if he's not even a rude child, at some point you can see, you can understand that he, he knows what he was after. So in the end, it's really not that much of a problem. A child born the year of the rooster. A rooster can be a great child, you know, can be very cool, unless him have a rooster parent. If you have a rooster parent, big problem. Because he cannot stay in that house. He don't want no orders from the rooster parent, period. A child born the year of the dog. Excellent child. Like, really excellent. Yeah, he would have some cantankerous behavior sometime. But he's not going too far from home because he care. And really care about the feelings of his parents and siblings. A child born the year of the pig or the year of the boar. Well, he may go a distance, but it's, it's about food. It's about where he can go raise some fruits or... It's, it's about food. 
it's, it's based on food, basically. It's, it's not no rude boy, really. Okay? So, you have these 12 types of children out there. And if you're the wrong type of parent, any child could be troublesome unless you don't overlove the child. Don't show a child too much of anything. You know, you tell him what is right. And if he make up his mind and stubbornly won't do what is wrong, leave him alone. You can carry a cow to the water, you can't make it drink. You cannot force a child to love wisdom. You can only tell him what wisdom is about. Somewhere down the road, he will do his folly, he'll get his beating, and he'll come around when he realizes that the, the direction he's going in, that don't work. But don't try too hard when you get high blood pressure, get sh sugar, get mental problems because your child tells you he's going to kill himself, he's going to hang himself on a tree, he's going to drink grandma. So that's his business. He have a right to do what he wants to do. That's himself. That's his choice. I'm going to overlove him, overextend yourself, and he don't care or she don't care. But I don't know what psychologists telling children. Maybe psychologists telling children the opposite of that. But somewhere down the road, if your psychologist don't know astrology, he could tell the child anything he want to tell the child. The child will leave his psychologist's office and still do what he feel like. Because he don't care. So you want to care, care, care for the one who don't care? Be my guess. But I will not be your guess on that. This is now 13 minutes after 4 o'clock in Jamaica. Let's take a look at dreams. You probably just wake up and you want to know a what. So you dream you see some pigeons in your sleep. Well, to see pigeons flying is a sign of approaching marriage. There you have it. Or maybe you dream, you dream you had a big pillow. Big, big pillow. Well, to see a pillow in your sleep denotes that you will go on a long vacation. To sleep on a large pillow denotes a successful business enterprise. Pilot. To dream of a pilot denotes good luck. To gamblers. Pine trees. To see them grow is a sign of happiness. To cut them down signifies lawsuits. A pink dress. To dream of a pink dress is a sign of happiness accompanied by wealth. Pins. To dream of pins denotes loss. Pin cushion. Do you know what's a pin cushion? A pin cushion is a very small little cushion, like a tiny little pillow where uh, uh, tailors and seamstresses will stick common pins in it, right? Pin cushion. To see one in your sleep denotes that your husband is flirting with another woman. Oh my gosh. Oh, stick a pin. Stick a pin. All right. To a man, it denotes that his wife is a flirt. Pistol. If you dream you see a pistol, which is a gun, to dream of a pistol denotes danger from an unexpected source. A pickaxe denotes trouble and anxiety. A piano. To hear a piano play in your sleep denotes pleasant news. To play one yourself in your sleep is a sign of good fortune. Okay. Physician. To a woman, if she dream of physician, like a doctor, it denotes that she will be delivered of a beautiful baby. Photograph. To see a, a picture, you know, I, I, you, I see, you see your own photograph signifies a happy ending of all trouble. You can now look forward to prosperity until life will be no more. Pick pocket. To dream of a pick pocket. Let's say you dream that you were in Kingston and you see a man picking people's pocket. To dream of a pickpocket denotes that you will overcome your enemies and beat them at their own game. Pigs. To dream of pigs denotes laziness. To feed them signifies contempt. Pigtail. To dream that you cook pigtail is a sign of pleasure. Peeling potatoes. To dream of peeling potatoes denote that you will be a servant all the days of your life. Pen. 
To dream of a pen denotes power. Pension. To dream that you receive a pension denotes that you will live to a good old age and be happy. Pepper denotes that you have a bad temper. This dream warns you to control your temper. Otherwise, you will surely come to a bitter end. Perspire, like sweat, to sweat, you know, perspire. To dream that you perspire is a sign of good health. So if you dream that you're sweating a lot, hey, it's a sign of good health. To see others perspire denote that you will be benefited by the downfall of another person. Perfume. To dream of perfume denotes much pleasure. That pleasure no one knows. Persecution. To dream that you are being persecuted denotes slander. Somebody a chat your name. Petticoat. To dream of a petticoat denotes that your wife or husband is unfaithful. So a petticoat would be what people call a slip. Or a half slip. Something you wear under your dress, right? Uh, you don't want nobody to see your panties, so you put on a half slip or you put on a slip which is a whole petticoat. Them things don't sell no more, but no, people want people to see them panty right now. Believe you me, people want to expose themselves. They want people to see them ridiculous looking panty. Believe you me, that's where it rich. That is where it rich right now. So decency out the window. Nobody don't want me. No women, most women don't want me decent anymore. Because the man them love them anyway, whether they're decent or not. Them no care. That's where we reach. That is sick. Philosopher. To dream of a philosopher denotes prosperity. Peacock. To see a peacock in your sleep denotes that you will not succeed in your present undertaking, my bridging. This dream warns you to abandon your present plans. Peanuts. You dream you see peanuts, my bridging? It denotes bad luck. To eat them, loss in business. To give them away, good luck. Pears. Right pears denotes an abundance of health and the blessings of peace and prosperity. Young green pears signifies loss of position. To sell pears denotes sudden wealth. Well on. Well on. Nails. To dream of nails is a sign of hardship. To see a carpenter using nails denote that you will capture the thief shortly. Whoever the thief, the thief you got them. You soon catch him. You see when you catch him? Uh, mercy. Only God knows what you can do to that, 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 that wicked boy. Anyway, naked. To dream that you are naked indicate that shame and disgrace will befall you. To see others naked denotes sickness. If, however, the naked person is shapely, like if she looked real good, it denotes happiness and security. Hmm. Names. To dream that you have many names denotes that you are dishonest. To dream that people call you names indicates slander. Napkins. To dream of a clean napkin signifies an honorable and successful career. A dirty napkin, though, foretells sickness and remorse. Naughty. To dream that you are a naughty but nice. What? To dream that you are naughty but nice. Denotes that you will marry shortly and that you will full joy. Much happiness. Navel. To dream that your navel is larger than it really is denotes sickness, my sister. In. Navy. To dream of the navy is a sign of sudden wealth. To dream that you enlist in the navy is a sign of prominence. Necklace. To see a necklace denote that you will receive a declaration of love from your sweetheart. To wear one around your neck denotes much happiness. To purchase a necklace denote that there is some someone who is crazy about you. That person loves you dearly. I will marry you shortly if you will only give consent. It is all up to you now. Should you let this chance pass by, you will never be married. This dream is a warning to lovers. Needles. To dream of needles denotes hard work, but good pay. To lose your needle is a sign of slander. Then shut your name. Finally, mutton. Whether sheep meat or goat meat, mutton. To dream of mutton denotes that your sweetheart is faithful. 
to eat mutton denotes that you will raise the money that you have long hoped for. And that's the end of uh, uh, our present dream scenario. Next strong or next week we'll give you more. It's now 422 in Jamaica. We take a short break and get right back to you. Don't go away. Now, whether you drive an old car or a brand new car, the road and distance are the same. And we get to the same destination. Whether we drink a bottle of 300 US dollar or 10 Jamaican dollar bottle of wine, the hangover is the same. Whether the house we live in is 300 or 3,000 square feet, loneliness is the same in that house. You will realize your true inner happiness does not come from the material things of this world. Whether you fly first class or economy class, if the plane goes down, you're going down with it the same. Therefore, I hope you realize when you have very dear friends, brothers and sisters, who you chat with, laugh with, talk with, have sing-alongs with, talk about north, south, east, west, or heaven or earth, that is true happiness. Five undeniable facts of life. The six best doctors in the world are sunlight, rest, exercise, a proper diet, self-confidence, good friends. Maintain them in all stages of life and you'll enjoy a healthy life. And finally, it is clear that God loves you, Mother Nature loves you, but to benefit from such divine love, you must learn to love yourself. The person who loves himself or herself is the person who avoids bad habits. Finally, it is important to note that if God answers your prayer, He is increasing your faith. If He delays, He is increasing your patience. If He doesn't answer, He has something better for you. So stop thinking that there's a block. The devil is a liar. The only block in this world is self-doubt. This, my friend, is wisdom unveiling. It's now 4.33. Let's go to our final caller. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Greetings. Good night. Yeah, good night. How you do? I'm not too bad. Good. So how can we help you? Can I have a card reading, please? Absolutely. Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. 5. Hold on. Come again. 2. Come again. 9. Come again. 6. Come again. Eight. Come again. Four. Come again. Um, one. That's it. Your first card here is called the star. Okay? Yeah. You got children? Yeah, my son. Uh-huh. How old is he? He's in his parties. Okay. He have any, he have any children? Yeah, yeah, my son. Okay. Someone is going to be a star, you know. Okay. And maybe your grandson. How old is your grandson? He's six. All right. Well, he's a little star. He will really make the, put the family name on the map, okay? Yeah. Seriously. I know that man. You can see it in him, right? Yes, yes. The second card here now is the card of death, which means that you may soon hear that somebody passed away. It could be an old friend, it could be a family member, but you can't do nothing about that. Not at all. You can't do a thing about that, right? It don't make sense to start ball. You can't do nothing about it. Not at all. So just easy, okay? Yeah. All right. Because nobody's not going to die unless it's their time. And yeah. however somebody died, that's the way they were, that's, that's the way they were meant to die. No matter, even if somebody killed them, that's the way they were meant to die. That's true. A person who died by somebody killing them may well be somebody who 
killing someone in their past lifetime and now them get killed back in this lifetime. You can't mm -hmm. do that more, that more than make sure that you go to the funeral and give everybody some moral support and help bury them and blah blah right that's what you would you understand it don't make sense we get all bent out of shape because this happened or that happened whatever that's happens true. was meant to be that's why it happened yes, period yes. right then another card here no call wealth which means that money will come you got some money problems yes i do money will come you get I to do. Pay your bills, you'll get to buy whatever you need. Money will come. Mm -hmm. You have another card here now, and it's called Strength, which means that you are one very strong woman. Yes, yes. And your strength is a thing that will reverberate right through the family, and even your grandson will become a strong one, seeing how strong grandma was, right? Yes, yes. You have another card called The Fool. What is your worrying about, ma'am? Um, it's a tough things, you know. We were um, um, sometimes I well, with my head, uh, you know. The fool is a person who worry about things that you cannot really control or change. Yeah. Stop worrying. Worrying mean that you don't trust God, you know. <laughs> Let's talk about your health. What did doctors say wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, I'm diabetic, you know. So you have sugar problems. So what are you doing about yeah, but, it? Last time I uh, check it, it wasn't too bad. It was nine. Well, two weeks ago, it was nine point something. Right. I'm on medication. All right. All right. Use your medication the and eat how the doctors say you must eat, okay? Okay. In the meantime, get exercise. Wake up. Can you walk? Yes, man. You wake up walk. every morning and take a nice walk. Half an hour to an hour, you take a walk. Okay. It will help you more than I can say. Yes, yes, yes. There's another card here, so no, and it's called Judgment, suggesting that whatever bad things happen will, will make a good thing happen. Out of evil cometh good. Yes, yes. So stop worrying yourself, right? Yes. And then there's a card here called the Queen of Reason, suggesting that you are and has always been a very reasonable woman, right? Yes, yes. You'll be fine. When is your birthday? The 10th of September, 1960. Good. So you're born in the year of the rat, right? Okay. The perfect job for you would have been caregiving, you know, taking care of old people, right? <laughs> huh? You know, so that, that's what, that's what, I, that's what I, I always do. And I'm still do a little of that now. Yes, that's what you're born to do. You're born in the year of the rat. That's what the rat people, that's what they're born to do. Yeah. They take care of their parents take care of their grandparents, they take care of strangers, they go foreign and take care of old people. That's what yes. they do. Yes. They're giving. They're the greatest caregivers in the world. Oh, man. Yes. Right? Because you genuinely love people even if you're not family to them. Sure. You love everybody, baby, you know, Joe? Yes, man. And yes. you take so care true. of anybody, parents, so no matter. True. Even if the pee pee up themselves, doo doo up themselves, you can deal with it. You got you got yes, you, you, you got stomach for that. So true. While the rest of you go hide behind a tree, you deal with the case, right? True. Very true. So you are worth your weight in diamonds. Remember me tell mm -hmm. that you're worth your weight in diamonds, not even gold, diamonds, okay? Yes. Alright, so you take care of yourself. You said you you born nineteen or what? What what, what 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 is your birth sign? What month you born? The 10th of September, 1960. Um, okay, so you are September. So, so your, your African tribe is Ibu, okay? Yes, yes. Ibu, that's a tribe out of Nigeria. Your lucky fruit is banana. You like bananas? Yes, I do. All I do. Right. You can eat a nice gross Michel right now, don't you? Yeah, my, you know, say, you know, say some red gross Michel right now. There you have it. That's your lucky I have fruit. I have some at my house right now. Oh my gosh, man. Don't say a word. You, you, <laughs> Your your um Andy Gross Michelle is your favorite, right? Yeah, man. Yesterday I ate about about five. Right, oh, yeah. Listen, man. Tell the people that, man, because them things are a joke. Yeah, joke. <laughs> yeah, so man. The sardonyx is your is your birthstone. If you get a sardonyx, you wear it proudly in the ring, and nobody can talk to you again, right? Okay. The sardonyx it have it, it, all stones. All these precious stones have them have powers, you know. 
right? Mm -hmm. yes. Sardonyx stimulates self-control and protection and guards against invasion from outside influences, right? Yeah. And it also cure worrying and mental confusion. Think about that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You're lucky there's Wednesday, you know. Okay. And your lucky herb is a herb called valerian. It control anxiety, right? Okay. Okay. So wake up and live. So you you take care of yourself. I have to run. You take care of yourself here. When is my time to pray? Can I tell me when my prayer, prayer yes, time? Yes, man. Your prayer prayer time is midnight, between eleven o'clock and one. Okay. So if you okay. pray at twelve o'clock midnight, you sell off. Okay. Oh, thanks very much. And make sure you're facing the north. Not. Yes, your guardian angel appear in the cosmos at exactly 11 o'clock every night and it leaves at exactly 1 o'clock. Okay, So you okay. find that no matter how you sleep, when between between 11 and 1, you're going to wake up, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Even That's if you're a baby. Time. Huh? That's my time to pray. Yep. 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. You can't miss. Okay? Okay. okay. So you take, care of, take care of yourself now and thank you for, for calling, all right? Thanks very much. Blessed. Yes. Take it easy. Bye bye. Bless it. So, brothers and sisters, it has been a wonderful gift and a pleasure to be here with you this uh, Christmas time. It is um, nice to know that um, radio exists and that shows exist such as ours and that people exist such as you. Take care of yourself and take care of everyone around you and make sure that you remember that it is really nice to be nice. Give thanks to Radio Jamaica. Give thanks to all our callers, all our listeners, all our mentors. Oh my gosh, just give thanks. On behalf of myself, Majesty, and... Jacob. There you have it. Remember, we shall be here, God's willing, God's bidding, next strong, next week, at uh, exactly midnight, Monday night for another thrilling episode of Wisdom Unveiling on the Upper Deck. Thank you very much for being with us and may the grace and goodness of Almighty God be with you all. Blessed. Sila.